think I'm done setting things up. No, wait, I forgot. The Sophie channel. I have to turn the Sophie channel on. Alright, there we go. The stream's all set up. Oh, I didn't realize everything was going to be... <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting the background, but I was not expecting you to be... Why are you blue? <laughs> Why are you blue? <laughs> Why are you blue? <laughs> I was what not are you expecting... talking about? I was not expecting I normally you... Do. Oh, right, right, right. Well, I was not expecting you to be this shade of pink. I was expecting everything to be not normal, but I wasn't expecting you to be not normal. <laughs> OBS made it very easy. This scared me, not gonna lie. <laughs> I couldn't think of a joke. Like, I didn't prepare, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Blue Paletta. I know, I'm sure that there's a joke somewhere there that could have been made. Is there a word for blue that starts with I'm Periwinkle Paletta? Periwinkle Paletta. Uh, it's it's not the right. It's not Periwinkle Blue, but it is a a blue word that starts with P. I know. Well. <laughs> I'm stealing your brand. Oh my God, you are. I'm the blue one now. I mean pink. I mean, there's nothing weird going on right now. Everything is normal. <laughs> of course, everything is normal. Did, uh, along with Discord, did you see what Tumblr's been doing for April Fools? No, I haven't. So if you log on, there's like a little boopometer, and you can go boop people. You can just go go hit them with the boop, and a little cat paw pops out and boops them. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. And you get little like badges for like booping people like lots of times. There's a, the what the top one is a thousand times. I don't have the energy for that. I did boop Frida three hundred times though. Oh my god, three hundred! I I got carried away. <laughs> you see Minecraft April Fools? Did you see Minecraft April Fools, Sophie? No, what? Okay. It's the. the it's. Up. Well, okay, let's see what it is. Let's go look it up. <laughs> I'm going, I'm opening up Minecraft. My empire demolished! Have you seen. Uh, and on the app I use for drawing, there's just a chicken running on the screen. That is also lovely. giving the Splatoon soundtrack a chance, but I don't really trust it. Oh, I can't just spam boop you. I have to go to your profile each time. Yeah, it's slightly annoying. Damn. This is funny, though. Yeah. And the little no, paw that comes colors. out is really cute. <laughs> yeah, they're different colors every time. Dang, I don't know how you did this 300 times. I've done it less than 10 and I'm already like, ugh. I don't know, I think I was just enjoying the fact that I could. That's valid. How fun. Yay! It would be hilarious. If Frida opened up her Tumblr profile and like all 300 of the paws came at once. <laughs> oh, it definitely doesn't do that. But you know, something similar that Tumblr does do is that if you buy someone crabs, like if you go into like the shop and buy them crabs, their entire screen will rain oh. crabs. Sorry, hold on. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Aside from, yeah, not feeling very well, Truzer. Like, sorry about that. How's, how's everyone's April Fool's shaping up? We can buy crabs? Yes! And then their screen will rain with crabs! How's it feel being nautical? Um... Cloud9. 
That's where I'm at right now. Almost forgot it was April Fools, to be honest. I mean, that is the point. What did Duolingo do? I have considered that idea, but that that was back when she was paint. Now that now that she's a mannequin, it doesn't make any sense anymore. Duolingo on ice. I love that we all come together and be silly on this on this day. Why do we celebrate April Fools? How did the holiday come about? I should Google this. I don't know if it's real or not, but there's gonna be a Duolingo musical. Uh, it might be a meme. Next year, I'll be pink. I actually had the idea beforehand of uh, making a whole stream setup for like one of my OCs, probably Z. I thought that would be funny, uh, but April Fool snuck up on me, so I forgot about it. Sync, Peletta. There's a link for tickets. What happens if you click the link? Looks of how April Fools came to be, and it was too many words, so I gave up. Alright, I'll Google it. Yes. Yes. Oh. Sorry, a ghost opened my door. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see. History of April Fools, a two minute video. History of everything podcast. I don't want a podcast. I got like the history channel. Today on the Daily Dose. Hey. The history of April Sorry, I'm back. There was a there was an emergency. Uh, my dog's UPS boyfriend was here, so she was crying and barking at the door because oh, she well. demanded, she demanded that I open the door so that she can see her boyfriend and have a snack. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh my God! What is this? 
Why are all the R's backwards? Poisonous potato update. Yeah, po what? Poisonous potato update. Finally. <laughs> Welcome Watching. to the poisonous potato dimension. Five <laughs> potastic biomes. Gear up with a potato peeler. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> Can you actually download and play it? That's so funny. <laughs> I think you can. Usually you can actually play like Minecraft April Fool's updates. Yeah, it literally says download the, the cross-platform server drive. I literally think that you can play it. Eh. Ridiculous. Let's learn the history of April Fool's together. Let's learn the history of April Fools. While the exact origins of April Fools Day remain shrouded in debate, some historians have speculated that April Fools Day dates back to 1582, when France switched from the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar, as mandated by the Council footage? of Trent in 1563. It's like five minute crash. Since the Julian calendar places the new year on April 1st, People who were slow to get the news or failed to recognize that the new year had moved to January 1st became the butt of jokes and hoaxes when dullards continued to celebrate New Year's on April 1st. Frenchmen in the know would place a paper fish on the back of ignorant revelers, calling them Poisson d'Avril, or April Fish. April Other Fish! historians have linked <laughs> April Fool's Day to ancient Roman festivals such as Hilaria, which is Latin for joyful, when people dressed up in disguises and mocked both average citizens and magistrates alike. Still others have speculated that the day was tied to the vernal equinox, or first day of spring in the northern hemisphere, when Mother Nature frequently fooled people with changing, unpredictable weather. Despite these competing origin theories, April Fool's Day spread throughout Britain during the 18th century. In Scotland, for instance, Hi, zombie. the tradition became a two-day event, starting with hunting the gawk, in which people were sent on phony errands, followed by tally day, which involved playing pranks on people's derrieres, such as the pinning of fake tails or kick me signs. In modern times, People have gone to great lengths to create elaborate April Fool's Day hoaxes, such as the 1957 BBC report that Swiss farmers were experiencing a record-setting spaghetti harvest, replete with photographs of people harvesting noodles from trees. In oh. 1985, Sports Illustrated writer George Plimpton tricked many readers when he ran a made-up article about a rookie pitcher named Sid Finch who could throw a fastball over 168 miles an hour, while a 1996 announcement by Taco Bell duped people when it announced it had purchased Philadelphia's Liberty Bell with the intent of renaming it the Taco Liberty Bell. The Taco Liberty followed up on Taco Bell's prank in 1998, advertising their new left-handed Whopper, prompting scores uh. of clueless customers to order the non-existent sandwich. That's so funny. Then, <laughs> the history of April Fool's Day. Today on the Daily Dose. For the record, I wouldn't believe a single word this guy says. If you like learning. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Daily Dose. Now we know. It was I, I I believe the 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 calendar changing thing. I believe in April fish. I like April fish. April fish. <laughs> Instead of being the April fool, I am, I am the, the April, April fish. <laughs>
April Fish is canon. Now it is canon. It's literally canon. <laughs> That is really fucked up that they were like, you dumbass, you don't know that the calendar changed. Yeah, like, come on, man, get it together. That's fucked up. You're gonna change the, the, how time works and just expect me to, to get used to it. Get with the program. Oh. Oops. Fucking like ancient Roman. Oh my god, yeah, now everyone in the chat's gonna call you blue. Instead of pink. I'm not blue. I'm pink. Okay. Everything's normal. Right. Right. <laughs> Why would anything be wrong right now? Everything's normal! It's a normal day! I'm eating eggs again. My enemy. And my best friend, at the same time. My enemy and best friend. Oh, I have a weird relationship with eggs. Are you the April egg? I'm the April egg. I'm the- I'm the- the Easter bunny. I- I like when- when it was Easter, how random it was with, like, people either posting, like, like I, I go to Twitter, I see Jesus and girls in bunny suits, like like Playboy bunny suits. Two very different things. No, yeah, literally. Easter's an odd one. Mm. I'd also like to know the history of Easter. Like, how did... Is it because of spring that we got to, like, bunnies? Probably. That's probably how we got to bunnies. Makes the most sense to me. The history of, like, Christmas is... Christmas and Halloween are really interesting, because it's, like, a, several holidays getting mashed into one. Yeah, you're colorblind. It's pink, like it always is. They should call you Gaslight Paletta. <laughs> Tis the season for gaslighting. It's Gaslight Gatekeep season. Girl Boss. Gaslighting. In a way. Oh, Hallow's Eve. Spring is animal horny season. Not quite summer, Mom. not quite winter. What do you say? I'm like, huh? Out of a what season? No, yeah, morning season. Yeah, no, it's, it, it is mating season, like literally. Oh, and because of rabbits. Well, here oh. come the oh. furries. You said the word. The furries are coming now. No! Get out! Get out! They heard the word. And Get, out! Get out! Get <laughs> out! You know which one I'm talking about? It sounds familiar, but. I have to find it. I don't remember who it is. They will yiff in your direction. God, no. Are you Freddy for ready? Did you go to work today, Sophie? I did not. Luckily, had the day off.
I'm not going blind. I'm just schizophrenic, so I think pink woman is orange. I think pink woman is orange? Jesus. Oh no. You know the the bad apple meme and how like they put bad apple on like everything, like Doom. I don't know the bad apple meme. It's like the 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 girls in black and white and it's the, uh, hang on. You know bad apple. Everyone knows bad apple. Oh the song, the song, the song. Yeah, the song. Okay. So uh I saw it with it's like bad apple and it was like a like the colorblind like dots and it was like bad apple for colorblind people and we were like oh yes colorblind people would totally appreciate this bad apple that they can't see and normally they can't see it because it's black and white jesus um actually there's different types of colorblindness well, no matter what type of colorblindness you have, you can always see Bad Apple because it's always in black and white. Aren't there types of colorblindness where you can't see black and white? Where, like, they look, like, greenish? I have not heard of that type. I know that there's a lot of different types of... I, I don't know what they're all called. I just know that there are different types of colorblindness. Where sometimes <laughs> it's, like, the, the spect spectrum shifts and i think that's why in some cases they can't see black and white or something like that or like the black and white are not black and white they come up as like other colors i don't know if that's like a, a type of color blindness humans can experience because like it seems to be specific cones that you can't see through so like your red cone is fucked up or your green cone is fucked up or like you know yeah I wouldn't be sure. I, I, I would, or I'll Google it in a little bit. But yeah, be like Jake Paul and pretend you're colorblind. Why would you pretend to be colorblind? Attention. Oh. <laughs> that answers that question. No, not my cones. You would know by now if your cones were fucked up. God, I hate that guy. <laughs> Hang on, I had like this character down in my sketchbook. Where is she? Here we go. Sketchbook brought out. She's like the only colored page in here. How come I can't find her? There she is. The fact that I see myself as an introvert, the fact that I, I'm always so chatty, I have no idea what the fuck is wrong with my persona. You can be chatty and be introverted, it's just, it's not about, like, being shy, it's about where you get your energy from. If you find talking to people like you're tired after doing so, that means you're an introvert. That's all that means. If you talk to someone and you feel energized, then you're an extrovert. And plus the guy who made up the term says that no one is just one or the other either. Sometimes you could be a mix of both. I like that, that most people are a mix of both. Also, all the terminology is odd. Like, to say something like, oh, because that's like official terminology. Like, it's not, it's also not like just, just making up words. Like, they say that, like, in psychology class, they'll tell you that those are like the definitions of extroverts and introverts, where it's like, where do you recover energy? Like, but again, like, inherently that's odd because if you're out with your friends or you're talking to your friends or whatever, you're going to get tired. Yeah. So, like, how are you going to gain energy from hanging out with your friends if 
you are inherently going to get tired after spending the day with your friends. Like, it's probably why it's like, again, well, no one's just one. <laughs> yeah, like it, it just is odd. Also, the way that they like officially label things. Maybe it's more less along the lines of hanging out with your friends and more like, like, like you're on like a phone call with them, you know, where it's like, it's not something that you're physically spending energy. It's like the energy it takes to talk to people. There's also like autism where like fucking talking to people takes more energy than a neurotypical person because you have to process everything way more and you're masking and blah, 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 blah. No, exactly. Um, but again, like that is the official like terminology. Like that is the words that they use like even in psychology courses where it's like oh where do you recover energy or whatever and it's just like that doesn't that inherently doesn't make any sense like <laughs> unless I'm just fucking neurodivergent as fuck and I've never experienced true like <laughs> what is it true true energy recovery because like you said being neurodivergent and trying to interact with a regular human is much more difficult <laughs> I think that's probably why so many people, like, it makes more sense than the the actual official terminology to be like, oh, well, if you're a people person. Like, it's just, it's just easier to understand because there's less, like, complicated factors there. Like, you're either a people person or you're not, you know? Yeah. Actually, even then, that has, like, issues because, like, oh, yeah, like, yeah. you're really chatty with your friends, but you're not so with, like, new people. Yeah. Or, like, when it comes to, like, retail, like, a lot of people think because you're being bubbly and you're being happy, they're like, oh my god, you must love people. And it's like, no, I definitely don't. It's just my job to do that. So, again, you're putting on, like, that mask and pretending, like, oh my god, hi! Oh my god, what can I get you? Oh my god, Brenda, your kids? I love <laughs> your kids. Like, tell me more about your kids. <laughs> I care so much about your kids. And I care about you, Brenda. <laughs> and then you go home and you're like, God, I hate Brenda. <laughs> Man, sick of Brenda and her caramel macchiato. Sick of Brenda and her caramel macchiato, for real. I feel like I do this weird thing where, like, if I'm talking about something with caramel in it, I'll say caramel, but if I'm just saying the word in isolation, I weirdly want to say caramel. And I always want to say caramel when talking about apples, like caramel apples. I can't say caramel apple. It feels weird. I don't know what the fucking problem is. And I know it's wrong. I know it's caramel. I would... Yeah, I was going to say, I have one question for you. Where'd the second A go? If we're going to start saying caramel, then show me where the second A went. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. It's like, I know it's wrong. Like, I'm not going to argue that it's right. It's like saying crayon instead of crayon. It's like, there's a Y. Yeah, where'd the Y go? <laughs> I hate people that say crayon. Sorry for any cranners in chat, but it's crayon. It, the brand is called Crayola. Like, what do you mean crayon? It's not a crayon. <laughs> Maybe someone did this to me. Maybe someone I knew kept saying caramel and then I just got stuck. Blame someone yeah, else for my sins. <laughs> it probably just rolls off the tongue differently. Like... Caramel apple, caramel apple. It's a whole extra syllable, you know? Crayon berry. Oh, cranberry. Oh, I get it. I saw what I'm blabbing about. Take a grain of salt. I'm multitasking right now. Haha. -ha. I recover my energy by chilling. I recover my energy by eating the souls of the innocent. Oh my god! Crayons are a military food delicacy. Yummy crayons. No, not the yummy I crayon. pronounce it like crown. You pronounce crayon like crown? I can't even... Yeah, immediately incorrect. <laughs> Sorry. You hand me the crown. That's... That's... 
That's so many letters off! Finally drew a normal looking human. Your humans always look normal, what are you talking about? I start doing warm ups because the first sketch of the day is always fucking ugly. Like with normal proportions. Oh, like. No, I still don't understand. <laughs> Ours is an alien. She's trying to get good at drawing humans so she could seem like one. Oh, exposed. with a question mark? Were you on Tumblr in 2016, Sophie? Probably. Do you remember the election? No. Oh, for- Hello, Kennedy! Yes, I do remember you. Uh... The, the, the April Fool's prank was an election where we had to choose between lizards and hats. I don't remember which lizard I voted for, but I did vote. I did vote. <laughs> yeah, my I, I remember my lizard didn't win. So whoever I voted for was not the winner. Boo. The entire dashboard changed. <laughs> like it was amazing. It turned into like the those like really like like the like the bright blue and red of like Fox News, you know? Jesus. It was very important. Everyone remembers the election if you were there. That's why I'm like, if you if you didn't if you don't remember the election, then like you missed it. No. That Mars was related to the Mars candy bar. Are you Mars the planet or Mars the candy bar? I think I heard once what the American equivalent of Mars bars was, but I forgot what it was. Like a, like a three mustard cures or something. That sounds about right. Mars candy bar. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. So, what is a Mars bar? Like, can you describe a Mars bar? Like, like what's in it? Is it, like, cookie or peanuts or caramel? Like, what is it? I don't remember. A candy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not an American candy. We don't have Mars bars here. I've never had one. I said it was the planet. It's like caramel and chocolate. Is that Three Musketeers, Sophie, or is like Three Musketeers peanuts? I have no clue. I'm not a I'm not a chocolate candy bar person. What do you mean, Pig? I see them all the time. Where do you live? Actually, no, don't tell don't tell me. No doxing. No doxing. Well, I mean, I guess just saying your state isn't that big a deal. I mean, like, I live in Minnesota. Where in Minnesota? You know what I mean? All right, that's it. I'm coming to Minnesota. I'm coming. <laughs> Drew Heather Chandler. Oh, from 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 Heather's. I only know Mars bars from the story I read as a kid. Manic Ma Ma Maggi? Maggie? His bully's name is Mars. He ate Mars bars. <laughs> I live in the United States. Oh, sorry, Noel. Doxed. I'm coming to the United States. I'm gonna say it. It's not like I was gonna say my address. Yeah, good point. Alright, state allowed. Oh, the music died. I have an Oklahoma. First of all, Oklahoma. Second of all, 
Why are there Mars bars there? Shows a picture of the Earth. You just got dogs. Oh my god. Doxed everyone all at once on that hemisphere. Good luck. Assholes. Everyone's getting doxed. <laughs> My exact address is Earth Bars. So yesterday, I was watching uh, drama videos. Um, about so I, it it started as like the DeviantArt ranting community of like people complaining about like people on DeviantArt who draw cringy things. Always been jerks. And the community evolved to complain about different people. And it kind of... It grew and changed, but it was always perpetually exploding. Because everyone in the community is a jerk. And picking on people, you know? There's just the whole community of bullies. I'm but sorry. very, like, art-centered. Oh god, here we go. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain it to her. Uh, but because it's been the art part of the art community... Unfortunately, I've just been watching this whole time. Um, Turkey Tom, where are you at? Turkey Tom is, like, adjacent to the community that I'm talking about. Like, he's, like, right there. But I'm talking more like... Uh, why am I shivering? I'm not cold. I'm talking more like... like Spockter, Stories, Pentagon, uh, Ponder Sprocket. But anyway, Sophie. What na what kind of names? <laughs> yeah, these are just, just people's random usernames. I don't know. DeviantArt users. Uh, I'm, uh, before we say anything about like the drama, so there's a there's a grown man, right? Grown ass man, uh, thirty something, and a uh, I don't know how old she is, but she's. At least in her 20s, you know? Uh, at some point, where they, the two of them say that he has adopted her. He has his online found family, and he has a habit of doing this, of like adopting people online as his children. Creepy. Okay. That's weird, right? <laughs> like, when I first heard that, I was like, okay... Sure, but like I, I still don't get it. I'm like, what kind of legal passages have you gone through <laughs> to officially adopt people? That seems I illegal. I don't know if this even officially adopted. They, they weren't. They definitely weren't. It's just like cringy. Like, I don't know. Have you ever had like a, when you were like a cringy middle schooler? Did you ever pretend that people were your cousins even though they weren't? You guys were just really close friends. No, I wasn't oh, that, well, that kid. Was... Yeah, well, it's like that type of thing where it's just like, yeah, like. Drum videos are the junk food of the internet. Can't wait to learn about some jackass through my headphones as I put away my laundry. Exactly! <laughs> exactly, you feel me. Eating some old St. Patty's Day sugar cookies. Sugar cookies are so nothing. Time to settle in and relive the drama. So yeah, like, starting off with that, and apparently, uh, this man is married, and his wife would have issues with this girl, and, like, this, like, according to the girl causing the issues, the adoptee, the girl that's been adopted, she was like, she thinks I'm a homewrecker. I don't know, man, I think I would think that, too. You're in your 20s. You're not some little girl. I'm not surprised that she'd be concerned about you. I love drawing so much. So odd. Yeah. But anyway, the actual drama is uh, the guy that I've been mentioning. His name is Leo. Uh, 
he runs a Discord server called the Senate. And on the Senate, oh, everyone okay. <laughs> everyone right. on the Senate plays to catch a predator. So they like they try to like find like the creeps online, like Discord weirdos or just whatever. Um and people who have actually like groomed children and stuff. And they uh gather evidence, confront the person, and call the police. Uh unfortunately about this though, is like that sounds fine, but they make YouTube videos about it. And I think YouTube videos is where I personally draw the line. Cause like while they're entertaining to watch, uh whenever they confront these people, uh it feels like they're just trying to come up with like fun one-liners to tell the villain of the story rather than like actually seeking justice. It's really cringy watching actually I hate them so much. Um but apparently what recently happened or what came out this happened like a year ago is um on a Discord server um there was someone who was like grooming a, a child, right? And so rather than confronting the person who did it or the server owner they asked one of the mods like they brought in one of the mods of the server uh to like come talk about it right the call was four hours oh, uh God. this person is disabled like they have a caretaker like, like like mentally disabled like they have seizures and memory loss they have a, they have a, a caretaker to like help them out you know like like uh probably not fit to be a discord mod but also not like sh someone who should be subjected to four hours of roasting them insulting things like her actual weight and using the r slur <laughs> jesus christ for four hours <laughs> so anyway that came out and it Seems like the entire server is like falling apart and everyone's throwing each other under the bus. So like, I didn't do it. He did. No, he did. <laughs> what I miss, I was picking up clothes tomorrow. Looking for my axolotl puppet. You have an axolotl puppet. Drama, rug. I love Portis fighting, rug. <laughs> Same. I like to watch rants and then I'm watching political stuff and mostly watching Karen's getting arrested. Not, Not the Karen's getting meant. arrested. And my little sister's axolotl in the fridge for his health. You guys just have like a pet axolotl? I kind of disagree with that. Put him in the ocean, please. Get him out of there. Aren't axolotls like endangered? Or like they just like only live in Mexico? Isn't that they have like a very, very, very specific habitat? They do. Yeah, you have to be really careful with them. And I also heard that they're not very smart. Um, and oh, so, no. like, that's part of the reason why half the time when people have axolotls, they don't have tanks that have anything in them. So they never have any vegetation. They never have any, like, rocks in there. Um, and most people will be like, oh my god, that's Hi, so sad. Like, poor axolotls and then people who have like been taking care of axolotls will say stuff like no like you literally can't have anything in the tank with an axolotl because an axolotl will just eat it and it'll die because it wasn't oh. supposed to eat, like tank rocks but it just will eat tank rocks for fun no <laughs> hi don my imaginary friend kayla in the fridge or to suffer what are you talking about let, let Kayla out. What's wrong with you? <laughs> free Kayla. Hashtag free Kayla. Yeah, no, for real. Uh, but anyway, I love that that community is in a constant state of exploding. If you want drama about people that you don't care about, uh, look into that community. Pointless drama since 2018. Actually, uh, I started watching it, and I, like I said, I, I popped in for two seconds, and all I hear is them making fun of her weight. What does it have to do with anything? First and foremost. Uh, second of all, uh, I saw someone mention, uh, 
someone else, like a one of the people that I actually do respect in the community, Ponder Sprocket, they were like, oh, she was the only one who, who ever said anything like, hey guys, what are we doing about it? So like I skipped around and I found the part where she pops in and apparently she wasn't in the call, but she was like, guys, did it ever occur to you that this person shouldn't be called these things? And apparently like one, one person did know and didn't warn anybody and they were like oh well i wouldn't have called her the the arsler if i knew that she was actually disabled and they were like oh well, well steve was saying it the most like I'm, I'm just making up steve there's no one called steve but right, right. like you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> or like everyone was like oh well, the, well you know we didn't do anything that that bad or like i maybe it, just don't call people the arsler you know that, like, that was what i was thinking it was like you shouldn't be calling anybody that I, I get it when it's like, oh, well, if I just call someone, like, if I don't actually use it as a slur, then it's fine. Like, I get it. I know some people do that. And, like, it was real common in, like, the... Like, in South Park and stuff. But, like, I I once heard, like, Trey Parker and Matt Stone talk about the reason that the kids on South Park talk the way they do is that they're, like, it's just the way that kids, like, actual fourth graders talk. And they're right, because I've known a fourth grader who talked like that, Warren. But you know what I mean? No. Of like, yep. if that's the point, then anyone who's like copying South Park, like, and maybe they're not getting that point across well enough. I don't know. What, what do you think about that? Like that, ac that level of accuracy being like mis mistaken? Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, it, it's an odd... It's an odd stance to defend. Because, yes, you're right. Like, fourth graders or middle schoolers, whatever age you want to, like, put them in. I think now they're in, like, sixth grade, aren't they, or something? Are they? <laughs> I thought they've just been in fifth grade this whole time. Like, they moved maybe up they're... from fourth grade to fifth grade, but then they haven't moved up since. Oh, maybe. Maybe they're still in fifth grade. Um... But anyways, if you want to talk about middle schoolers, like, it's true, like, middle schoolers don't know the, the, like, they know it's a bad word, but they don't understand why it's a bad word or why it's harmful. Like, why is it harmful to call someone the R word? Why can't I just say the N word, right? Like, because again, they understand that they're bad words, but they don't understand, like, why they're bad and stuff like that. But as you, as an adult creating this show, you do know that that word is bad, right? And yeah. so as much as you want to be like, oh, well, real kids do talk like this. And it's like, yes, they do. I'm not saying that you don't. That I'm not saying that they don't. But what I am saying is that, like, that, like, that level of accuracy can also be reached by having the kids say bad words, which, again, they do. They use, yeah. like, they say fuck, they say shit, they say bitch. Like, they say all of those words. So, like, I think that that gets the point across. Like, what's funny about it is, haha, look at the fourth graders, like, look at the ten-year-olds saying bad words. I don't think they necessarily need to be using It doesn't need to be, haha, the kids are using slurs. Yeah, like, it doesn't need to be. Again, unless there's a purpose to the joke, like, there was a whole episode on it with Jimmy. Jimmy is the one who's disabled, the one with the stutter mm -hmm. and the crutches. And it was the whole thing where, like, he's in charge of the school newspaper. And this is back when PC Principal... Well, I think PC Principal is still a character, but it, it the whole episode revolves around PC Principal and Jimmy. Where mm. someone said, in the episode, someone says, oh, the school lunches are arsler, right? And so because PC Principal is PC Principal, PC principal, he comes in and he's like, which one of you like wrote this in the school paper? Like, I'm gonna break your fucking legs. Like, who, <laughs> who wrote this in the school paper? Like, who's in charge of the school paper? And then Stan, Stan or Kyle is like, he's right over there. And the camera pans over and it's Jimmy. <laughs> I'm glad that you remembered that he said, I'm going to break your legs. Yeah. He says, he says, I'm gonna break your legs. And and I know because I think Kyle even makes a comment. He's like, so, you're still going to break his legs, PC Principal? <laughs> like, <laughs> um. So, yeah. So, and then, like, the whole point of the episode is, like, the whole freedom of speech thing where it's just like, well, like, 
that word isn't... I don't know. The episode was, again, kind of weird because it, it's weird because although Jimmy is a disabled character, like, Jimmy is not a real person. Jimmy no. does not speak for the disabled community. And I felt like they were using Jimmy as a way as like to, a like, get... Piece. Yeah, as, like, a mouthpiece for disabled people, which is odd because Jimmy is not real. Even his voice actor is not disabled. He's voiced by Matt Stone or Trey Parker, one of the two. So, like, it just seems odd that they were trying to be, like, well, not only is it freedom of speech, but, like, if a person who is disabled wants to use the slur, like, that's okay. If they're not bothered by the slur, then why are we making such a big deal out of it? This is the first time we've had slur discourse that was actually about slurs in forever. (laughs) No, yeah. And again, and like, that's what's odd about it. It's just like, okay, I understand where you're going with this, but like, Jimmy is not a real person. You can't use Jimmy as a Jimmy's opinions. Yeah, like, you can't use Jimmy's opinions because Jimmy is not real. And again, his disability is the butt of the joke. Like, what's funny about Jimmy, unfortunately, like, the whole reason why he's in the show is so that they have a disabled kid to make fun of. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the point. That's unfortunately what Jimmy's purpose is. Yeah. Um, I mean, nowadays, he's a little bit more of, like, a real character. I'd but say like, that, like, every every season, Jimmy got more nuanced, yeah. I mean, yeah. like, that wasn't the episode he was introduced in? Wasn't that the Cripple Fight episode? <laughs> yes! Yeah, like, his whole... That's what I'm saying. Like, his whole existence revolves around being the disabled kid that people make fun of. I once saw someone say, I like that the kids always involve, like, Timmy and whatever they're doing. Like, whenever they have Timmy with them, like, he's... He's, he's part of the group, but he gets to do the thing, too. Yeah, like in the superhero, he, he gets to be... I, I forgot what it was, but the, like they, they were doing something, and they were like, someone needs to help Timmy. And I, I, I saw someone point that out, and I was like, yeah, that is kind of sweet that they just, you know. Yeah, that they involve him. Yeah. I feel like South Park flip-flops between, like, being, like good and sweet to really offensive yeah which i mean that's always been like the point of south park like people who have watched if anyone's watched like the older south park episodes they used to end every episode with a what have we learned segment like Mm -hmm. (laughs) oh yeah (laughs) like they literally yeah so like i feel like south park has always been really good at like towing the line between like like or maybe not towing the line but like They've always had a point to make. Like, a lot of episodes have a purpose to them. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Again, it just gets weird sometimes. When it's just like, I I understand what you're trying to say, but also, (laughs) that doesn't make sense. A.K.A. using Jimmy as a spokesperson for disabled people. Like, Yeah. It's kind of like that that time that like I Dubs was like either all of them are ca- are okay or none of them are okay, and he seems to have regretted saying that since. Well, yeah, again, it's just kind of one of those things where it's like, unfortunately, I Dubs, you are neither of the two, like <laughs> neither of the two groups that those slurs are offensive to. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you get to decide to be the one who's gonna, like, take power away from the slurs. Like, you're a hetero cis white man. You're not- (laughs) you're not gonna take power- Bring out the words! Yeah, like, you're just- you're not gonna- you're not gonna take power away from the n-word. Like, you're not gonna do that, Idubs, I'm sorry. I feel like- other than that, I do kind of generally agree with the the Tana video of just kind of being rude back. But also, I don't know. Adams is the perfect example of pulling the ladder out for others, using edgy stuff to get popular, and now says, "No, you can't do that." Yeah. Oh yeah, the, like the way that he's like swung his opinion around. But like Adams is like that, like all the way around. Like he he seems like beaten down. I don't know if 
he has a very good relationship with his girlfriend. He, <laughs> he's not the same. He's not the same. Yeah, I mean, he's gotten older. Probably mellowed out. Um, he yeah. also was getting eaten alive by the internet. Mm -hmm. Which, I don't know, he's probably used to it, but, like, at some point, you're just, you're just over it. Because, like, yeah. the whole drummer with iDubs recently with him and his girlfriend was, was stupid. Like... People were literally oh, the, the like, cuck thing. Yeah. And it's just like, dude, what does it matter? And you know, he he had a good <gasps> Sorry, he had good responses to it where he was just like, dude, at the end of the day, like, I'm her I'm her boyfriend. Like, I don't care what she does. And also, she makes so much money that I'm living like I'm living comfortably. So again, what do I care what she's doing for work? And from what I understand, she wasn't even sleeping with other people. She had an OnlyFans, but she was, like, posting, like, nude photo. Like, she wasn't, like, posting videos of her doing it with other people. <laughs> oh, so they were just via having a girlfriend with an OnlyFans. That's fucked up. Yeah, they were... Yeah, and again, that may or may not be wrong. I don't fully remember the situation. But again, even if she was, right? Like, even if she was on her on her OF, like, doing things with other men, Idub still has a point. At the end of the day, that's my girlfriend. Like, I'm in a relationship with her, not all of these other guys. And on top of that, she makes a ton of money. So now I get to reap all the benefits of having a super rich girlfriend. So what do I care what she's doing? Okay, bye, zombie. What was the si what was up with Sam Hyde? What happened there? Oh, I have no clue. Because uh, Gary brought it up. Why the Do you want us to call you Ashy Slashy, or are you fine with me using your name? Online privacy and all that. I guess only privacy. Okay. We shall call you Ashy Slashy. My dad threw it in the toilet. Yippee. Was your character inspired by anything? Um. I don't remember what the original version of what my character was inspired by. I think she was just things that I liked. But the current version of her is more of like what I currently look like. Clothes I'm comfortable in. In a slight 60s tilt. Because the, the original version of my Sona I made back in 2014, and so I don't remember anything about the thought process at that period of time. But not 60s, <laughs> Same thing with your your clown Sophie, which is like she's vaguely clown she's clown themed, but like the she's not supposed to be like clown clown like hard like everything about it like she's a lot of like the kind of design elements that you enjoy like yeah, like your hair and your shoes and all that right. Sophie, you still here? Oh, I think Sophie's gone. My character was playing cards and magic stuff. Yeah. My character was inspired by Link. Oh, really?
Yeah, when you drew uh, Mars's character, Noelle, like you, you gave her the way that you draw Link's bangs. So that's actually interesting. I, I remember you saying that, like this is this is just how I draw Link. That <laughs> you you ended up finding the Link inspiration, <laughs> even though it was kind of buried. Pinky and I switch eras for a day. Oh, I become nineties. 90s, 2000s. Put all my TVs! Now I have to update the technology to... to <laughs> they wouldn't even be flat screens, they'd still be standard definition. I see another silverfish in this. I think I'm gonna perish. No. 60s tie dye would be kind of slay. I'd be interested in seeing it. You know what my character would look like with hair? I don't know. That would look good though. I mean, that'd be like putting hair on Slender Man. I don't know if that's a good idea. I think they would look better bald. I gotta lie, blue pinky is slay. I'm not blue! I'm... I'm... I'm pink as normal. About the Sam Hyde thing, Idubs wanted to make Sam seem like a washed up loser. Science of Taylor is basically... This is where edgy humor leads you. Sam turned the tables on him. I mean, that sure what Idubs seems like to me nowadays, a washed up loser. I'm a washed up winner. <laughs> Make that your Discord stat status. Washed up winner. Oh, I gotta leave. Oh, that's fine. I'll be here. Nice thing is when Sam Hyde made it gaslighting iDub's dog. Funny thing I read. What happened in that? I mean, aside from the name. What was he gaslighting him about? I'll be here being a bit. All right, I'll be here. I, w I won't move, I promise. High school near me had a flight simulator. My dad is saying he not use it. <gasps> cool. I just wanted to film a Sam Hyde documentary and Sam and Hyde did a bunch of crazy things, like hire an actress to be his druggy girlfriend, rent a dentist's office and say it's in her office. I don't mind, I don't have to go yet. Alright. Oh, so did he like prepare for iDubs to show up and was just fucking trolling him the whole time? Like he was like, hey man, here's my office. And he's like, what? Is his birthday really April 1st? 
We can never escape has been. Never. Never ever. Let's talk about John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> oh log. Speaking of clowns, I said earlier, that's like what was the inspiration behind your design and I talked about mine, but like I you so would you say with your your clown Sona that even though she's a clown, uh most of like the fashion decisions, like like her shoes and stuff, is mostly the kind of like clothing that you like and are comfortable in, right? I I guess I just kind of look at stuff that I think is really cute and I would mm -hmm. be like, wow. So I guess, yeah, it's more like that. It's clothing that I'm interested in, not necessarily clothing that I own or would wear. Yeah. Necessarily. Yeah. I mean, I don't own a dress like what I've drawn myself in, but like, no. I would be comfortable in it. That's kind of like the half of the decision of making it a dress with like tights and shoes is because I, I thought about cosplaying the last design and I was like, no shoes, just a long hoodie. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't hate Angel Dust, but I don't like him either. Not yet. <laughs> Speaking of has been, unfortunately, I have something to say. Saw oh, some really? people on Twitter saying that apparently they put a, out a remix of the Poison song, which I already don't like. And apparently they added, like, it, it's like a remix, right? And they added, like, voice clips of Val as he is abusing Angel. And so I saw someone on Twitter say, like, hey, what the fuck is this remix? Yeah, that sounds kind of horrible, honestly. Oh... He trolled iDubbbz like crazy, and at the end of the documentary revealed his girlfriend was not real and an actress, and iDubbbz was super mad. Sam overheard iDubbbz say, I'm usually the puppet master. It's horrible and I hate it! <laughs> Can't keep getting away with this! Listen to it a minute ago. I mean, again, like when, like, like, uh, teasing the song on Spotify, Vivziva was like, "Oh man, wait till you see the visuals that that comes with it." Spelled C U M. God, I hate her. She's so annoying. I can. You're awful. You're an awful person. Terrible. I draw my character in a suit most of the time. Every time I see one of my drawings without really anything on it, it makes me reconsider that drawing. Oh, when, whenever you draw it like your character with no clothes on? Weird faith.exe version. This isn't pink. I have become a fool in April. Hi, <laughs> Antoine. You are the April fish. April fish! You are the April fish. Have you been on Discord yet, Antoine? Have you seen the... the... update? think it keeps getting has been hoteled. I do, and it takes a year off my lifespan every time. Goddamn loot boxes in my Discord. <laughs> Have you completed it though? Have you gotten all the items? It takes so long to click, like you have to watch the animation every time. Yeah. But it took me, like, less than five minutes. I mean, I did send Frida 300 boops, so... 
Clearly I have time. <laughs> All I know about has been is a bunch of crazy cos cosplayers doing their ASMR shit. It's unfortunately a series that I disliked and I have like... Not that I've met her, but I, I have like a history with the creator in terms of like being a fan of hers before she blew up, you know? So just, yeah, yeah. Bad time, bad time for me that I have to hear about it constantly. I thought this was just some random bitch on the internet that I would never have to hear about again. <laughs> With the, the Splatoon 2 soundtrack. <laughs> my character have a story to explain why he is what he is today i don't know what his story should be i have a few ideas but you can't pick one do you want to talk about it and we like we folks on stream can help you pick that sounds like fun right sophie mm -hmm. well you know i haven't seen anime or reddit so i'm lost What are you talking about? Like, in anime. Hasbro Hotel is an anime. Oh, the, okay, so j just so you know, like, Hasbro Hotel is like a, a, a YouTube show, or at least it started as like a YouTube show, but it got like picked up by Amazon, or like A24 on Amazon. Yeah. So it's like an adult animated show. It's kind of it's it's think of like Family Guy like it it doesn't follow the same format as Family Guy but it is like it's just an adult animated cartoon. Yeah. Like that's its genre, I suppose. The only thing that it really has going for it is, is the fact that like their voice actors and their music are like top notch because they're like Broadway singers. So. Like yes, that is the show. The five thousand dollar commission guy. Uh, he he commissioned a music video with him and one of the characters. And everyone made fun of him for it because he the the reason everyone was making fun of him for it wasn't the fact that he did it. But because at the time he was constantly making videos on his channel, he was like, you know, guys, like the videos have been doing as well. You know, I can't like fund like the, the project that I've been working on, you know, like, like what his channel was known for. And then it turns out that like, oh, well, you did have money to spend on this, though. I remember fucking Brandon Rogers is a character on Hasbin. Love Brandon Rogers. So... Hasbin also has a sister show called Hell of a Boss, and that show it wasn't isn't on Amazon or anything. That one's just on YouTube, and that's Brandon's show. Yeah. And I like Brandon Rogers, and I really like that Brandon Rogers is really passionate about Hell of a Boss. Like you can tell that he really likes working on it. He likes the characters. Like he really, really likes it. So I'm glad that Hell of a Boss is is doing yeah. well. You know, fun creative outlet for him. Mm-hmm. I heard that he's been getting less involved as the series has been going on. Probably, I'm sure that his interests are gonna move on, you know? Yeah. Why is the Spanish or Vanish song so good? It's like an actual bop. I so will say, I though, real quick, just to go back to that uh, Hideaway music video, the one with the, anim the the animated rap battle guy and Charlie yeah. and Hasbin, that song is a bop. I know that that song isn't his song, it's like some yeah. other song <laughs> like that's completely removed from the music video, but that song is really good. I listen to it a lot in the car. Um, eh. It's a good song, like, it has a good beat to it, and I like this the singer. I don't know, it's a good, it's a good song. <laughs> He did a good thing by introducing the world to that song that no one's ever heard of. But now we do. Now we have heard of it, and it's a good song. It's kind of a shame it has yeah. to be associated with that, though. Yeah, because Brandon honestly, has a lot of projects. Original, oh. 
Yeah, and even the original music video isn't very good. It's like the very similar concept to the animated video, except it's a young girl chasing after like a really, really old guy. Like, oh grandpa. no! Yeah. Like maybe the maybe the maybe the husband animation's a little better then. <laughs> no, yeah, and that's what that's what he was saying. The guy who commissioned it was saying something along the lines of like, "Oh, my idea for this music video is to like flip flip the script or whatever, or, like." make it less uncomfortable than the original or whatever like i don't know he would like he spouted some bs like basically saying that it's supposed to like speak upon the original music video or whatever but what he ended up doing was just as cringy like it was a little bit better in the sense of like at least like the age difference isn't there because i'm assuming charlie is an adult even though yeah. charlie is very kid coded like i think charlie is very very like young teenage peppy like kid coded but whatever i think because she oh. is intentionally disney princess coded and disney princesses oh. are always teenagers maybe that's what it is yeah i mean yeah she's an adult but like just because she's an adult doesn't mean that they haven't written her as if she's a like naive child and like yeah. that's where it gets weird because she's even drawn sort of childish like she isn't particularly like and again, not in a sexual way, but she isn't particularly, like, womanly. Like, she looks like a kid. She looks like yeah. a teenager. Oh, um, yeah, if you told me this character is 16, like, I wouldn't argue with you. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, anyways, the point is, the, the, that age difference doesn't exist in the animated fan video, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Chooser says, I have the idea that my character could my character could have like just originated in hell. I don't think I should do that because I'm Christian. Oh, there's a big null sign on your face. Where did that come from? Oh. Sorry, I'm back. Um, but yeah. a, no a big null sign popped up on your face. Make him a fallen angel? That's a good idea. Wait, really? Choose when I yeah, mute? Hold on. Yeah, look. Isn't that so weird? That is weird. When did kind that of, become a thing? I don't know, but I I guess that's kind of helpful. Like yeah. So everyone knows that you're AFK, I guess. So Chooser says I uh, I had the idea that my character could have originated in hell. I don't think I should do that though because I'm Christian. And Ashy said make him a fallen angel. And then Chooser continues. I also thought that my character could be in a team of criminals, and that's why I designed it a few more masks for other members. Fallen yeah, Angel on like his path to redemption. Yeah, I like that idea. The, the yeah. team of criminals, that seems fun. I know, like, Matt's Christian, and it's, it's something that's very important to him. It's like a big part of his life. His, his dad is a preacher. Um, but he also has a kind of complicated relationship with Christianity as well, because it's also something that's like brought him a lot of grief in his life. Uh, so he he kind of enjoys messing around with like angels and demons and that kind of thing. It's like a way to vent, I think. Can't believe in God if you don't believe in hell too. Not a sin unless you idolize the evil. That too. I mean, like that's that's what I was trying to get at with like Matt, you know, of like. Just because he's doing that in, like, a fictional setting doesn't mean, like, that he's, like, glamorizing the devil or anything. You're just writing Are you going? Bible fanfiction, you know? Yeah. Now I have to actually go. Have fun, guys. Good luck, Truser. Bye, Mars! Bye, Mars. I, I do agree with Ashy's idea, though. I think that's, like, the best. If, if you're worried about that, I think that's the best solution. I don't, oh. 
Being a criminal is fun. Yeah, and then you have like the, the built in plot of trying to be a better person. It all works out. So conveniently. This song always stood out to me whenever I was playing Splatoon 2. The way it's like. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, there's also like Constantine and like I want to say the Punisher, but I don't know anything about the Punisher, so I'm not going to use that example. Uh, I might just go <laughs> along with that idea. Do you know anything about the Punisher? Nor. Ah, alright. Not a single thing, unfortunately. I heard someone once say whenever Batman's being a dick, it's not Batman, it's just the Punisher in a funny hat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for a pause, just send money. I send you... Monopoly money. That's all I have. Monopoly money. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Punisher is Batman without the idea of showing mercy to criminals. Oh, wow, so it is just Batman being a dick. <laughs> Punisher gets shit done. Bad man. I don't know why, but I get random bursts of inspirations to write a book. Write it! Write it! Be creative! Jesus Christ. Be creative! Never tell Jesse that you're going to do anything creative. She will proceed to encourage it into the ground. <laughs> Follow your dreams! Don't let your dreams just be dreams. Punisher doesn't have recurring villains. Why? Because they're in body bags. You know, that reminds me of there was this video where they were talking about like, they we're talking about Lily Orchard, but specifically they were talking about this like thread she made on, on Twitter that was just like a bunch of really bad like writing advice. It was mostly vague tweeting about how much she disliked She Ra and Steven Universe. Like, like just talking about like, Things she didn't like about them, uh, written in like a tip. Don't do this with your characters, and it's thing from one of those shows. Mm. And so she had a whole thread of them, and it was these two guys who were they're they're like professional writers, and they were just going through them like genuinely. And as they were going on, they were like, "Oh, I see what's going on here." But I remember at some point they were talking about how a lot of people have like. Or specifically, Lily has issue with the w way that Steven, like, like lets the diamonds go, like nothing bad really happens to them. And she's not alone in that opinion, I know. But I, I remember they, they said something like, uh, you know, there's something in between happy fun, make friends, and murder. There's this place that criminals go called jails. Called oh, jails. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sad. Sorry, this is completely unrelated to what we're talking about. 
But one of my favorite makeup brands is releasing like a limited time addition to like my favorite of their collections. And it's not out yet. I got really excited. I was like running to <laughs> to their website. I'm like clicking through it. Like, oh, I want to buy it. I want to buy it right now. But I can't. It's not even out yet. Ah, damn it. Ah, CV Universe. Don't worry, guys. They said they're sorry. Forgets about all the genocide. Forget about all the genocide. They were sad at the time. To be fair, the the diamonds are stuck uh, undoing everything that they've ever done for the rest of time. It just doesn't seem very much like a punishment because they're just kind of chilling as it happens. Like, I feel like people would probably be more satisfied if they were suffering as they were also undoing all the damage. Like, the fact that they're just allowed to, like, chill in their palace, just not the leaders of the, the gems anymore. Like, uh, you see in future, you see, uh, Yellow Diamond actively putting shattered gems back together and bringing them back to life. That's good, I guess. Like... And in the, the movie, they talked about, like, they've, like, disbanded uh, armies and colonies and all that. But if anything, it, like, that's just for the gems. Like, all of the organic life that they murdered is still dead. That the punishment fit the crime. I mean, it's also a kid show, too, to be fair. Yeah, like, put them in... <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I, I really, I strongly disagree that killing the diamonds is what they should have done. But, like, yeah, they could have had a harsher punishment. They could have been in gem jail for the rest of time. And here I was, excited to spend money, and now I can't, because on this specific website, in order to get free shipping, you have to spend over $100, which is very easy, because their makeup is gorgeous, and you look at it, and you're like, I want it! I want it so mm -hmm. bad! I want all of it! Um, but Regular show and Steven Universe are two very different shows. Yeah, yes. Who is comparing them? Wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, kid show, no, no excuse, they still blew up Garrett Bobby Ferguson <laughs> in regular show. His name is fucking Garrett Bobby Ferguson. I don't think it was supposed to be that serious. They did do that, didn't they? To, I like that you have to say his full name every time. <laughs> he's, Garrett, he's not Garrett. Garrett, he's Garrett Bobby Ferguson. Garrett Bobby Ferguson. Regular show also was for slightly older kids as well, wasn't it? Like, didn't they regularly, like, say cuss words or, like, near cuss words? I remember being kind of shocked every time I heard Mordecai say, like, I'm pissed. I'm like, whoa, language. Yeah, they say, like, they say, like borderline cuss. I, I think the most, like, the worst thing they've ever said was, like, oh, crap. Yeah. Giant bearded face. <laughs> Jesse, I'm pissed! Try not to say it directly into the mic because I don't have a pop filter and as I was like messing around with like my voice recording, I'm like, ah oh, man, you hear every P I say. Digging around for something to work on because I'm not happy with how this is coming out. Do 
Yawns. He said, I hate Christmas. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I was describing that to my friend and or well I said that to my friend and my friend had no idea what I was talking about and I was like what do you mean like you've never seen it and she was like no she's like what are you talking about right now and, I'm, and so I went on this whole rant about him I was like it's from how the Grinch stole Christmas the Jim Carrey version where they're in school and he shaved his beard to impress the girl he liked and then they all started making fun of him and they were all being mean to him and then he broke his little gift for his crush and then and then he picks up the Christmas tree and he throws it and he goes I hate Christmas I hate <laughs> it Chose not an excuse. We've all been traumatized by cartoons. Courage the cowardly dog is all I'll say. Listen, man, like we're we're talking more like along the lines of like like the Powerpuff Girls. And you know what they did with the Powerpuff Girls? Mojo Jojo never went like got murdered for any of the crimes he did. For like when he almost took over the world in the movie, you know what they did to him? They put him in jail! <laughs> No, literally. <laughs> That's the worst that ever happened to him. He almost took over the entire goddamn world! And they were like, meh! Prison. That's where you go. They said, That's fine. I do feel like, especially if we were going to. If, if we're rewriting things here, I say, if we're going to keep the, the punishment that the diamonds received exactly the same, I'd say to undo any, like, actual, like, genocide of organic planets, because, again, if they could fix the gems, if they could undo all of the damage that they did to their own people, they can't undo any damage to living creatures. So their punishment doesn't quite fit the crime, right? So I, that's why, like, either they don't genocide living creatures, or they also have a way to undo that or make up for it. Like, they have to go, like, replant, like, colonized planets and stuff, or, like, try to, like, use science to, like, re-engineer the creatures or something, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like... <laughs> what about all the people they murdered? Yeah. What murder? <laughs> <laughs> It's just one random doodle of Miku and Ren. Dude, doodle's old. Ow, my eyes. <laughs> Ow, my eyes. I need my, I need my eye shield. There we go. Ah, so much better. <laughs> now I can uh. see. <laughs> Silly monkey, go to, your, <laughs> go to your prison cell. Bro, I wasn't allowed to watch Inspector Gadget because they said butt and my mom freaked out. My mom wasn't allowed to watch Inspector Gadget because it was a damn Jap cartoon, according to my grandma, who she was wrong. It was a Canadian cartoon. Never gonna get over that. Never gonna get over it. She, not only is she racist, but she's also wrong. I was about to say, I was like, geez, not the slur. Is that that bad? Should I not have said that? I I wouldn't. It, like, oh, it's definitely on whoops. the list. I was like, it's definitely on the list of slurs. Like, it's on, it's near the bottom of the list, but it's definitely on the list. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's it's one no, of those it's... like. Do you remember like the the John Mulaney like. He's, he's talking about slurs, and, uh, I don't know if I agree with, like, the one about, like, little people, but he was like, and they called me a Chinaman, which is the laziest of all slurs. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Alright, well, see, you'll have to forgive me. I shouldn't have said that, I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I just would avoid it in the future. I was just repeating someone else. I was quoting. It's like an English class where they made us fucking... She insisted that we say it's all of the, the N-words and Huck Finn. And it sucked. Yeah, see, that's just, that's truly just unfortunate. Like, I'm sorry, that just... That's just so uncomfortable. It, I, I've told this story to you before, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'll just, I, I'll say again for the sake of stream of, like, it was funny watching, like, everyone say it at first, but absolutely no one was comfortable doing it. So the way that it, everyone just got quieter and quieter and just kind of went back to not saying it. And then she yeah, didn't press no, it again. It just, like, it just really would be just unnecessary. Just truly and honestly, just unnecessary. We don't, we don't want to say it. Not yeah, a good word. Exactly. Like, it's just that simple. If anything, it and should again, be a good thing that we don't want to say that word. No, exactly. And again, it's probably the same argument, right? The... Oh, we're taking the power out of the word. And I'm like, I see, I don't think you get to make that decision. Like, I think the more of the idea was that we're quoting. Like, we're, we're not saying it. We're reading out someone else saying it. Which, again, like... You told me it was racist, but how confidently they said it. Like, I, yeah, I just, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just saying that if I went up to you and I called you a slur and I was like, no, I swear, like, I was just quoting, like, your mom when your mom called you that. And it's just mm. like, what, what, I mean, I, uh, hmm, hmm. <laughs> oh, mom calls me slurs? <laughs> yes! <laughs> no. But I don't know, like, that seems very dismissive of, like, the literal the comfort issue. level of <laughs> your students as well. Like, I feel like that's fucked up, that nobody wanted to, that we were all being forced to. So if just dropping your mom joke? It's only my... <laughs> oh, your mom joke? I mean, I don't know if it was exactly a your mom joke, but... Did I just get served? Did I just get... <laughs> oh. Oh. Nobody's getting served anything. I just turned on John Mulaney in the car the other day. I'm pretty sure my mom still doesn't know. I just hit my wrist. I'm in pain right now. Oh, Are you also feeling sick? It's not been a good day for you. I'm sorry. Going back to the the adopts. That's what I set out to work on today. That's what I'm gonna work on.
I think we were talking about queso a couple days yeah, ago. The the silly meat canyon video about him. Ah, oh, yes, yes, that's what it was. That video is really funny. <laughs> Again, I'm glad he was like, a good sport about it. I mean, it, it literally goes along with like his his joke, yeah, the like whole bit. Mm -hmm. I was watching a couple videos on Meat Canyon's other channel. Uh, and he was sometimes he talks about like his animations, and he talked about uh the one about like Nicocado Avocado. He's like, uh, you know, I wasn't so much trying to make fun of him as I was trying to humanize him. That's why I went with like the King Midas bit of like how how far someone's willing to go, uh, you know, for for internet clout. Yeah, no, it's. I don't know, I guess I don't have to go too deep into it, but like, I will say it is, it is quite unfortunate how much the internet, like, changes people, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, just, it's just unfortunate. Wait. It's like the same thing with money, like, when you see people who have money, especially if they're people who haven't always had money. Like, yeah. I don't know, you just see how much it changes them. Or like, again, even people who have always had money, like, you can tell... <clears throat> you can tell how not normal they are, if that makes sense. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a good example. I mean, I don't know. Just I don't, the, I... You gotta adjust the colors on your screen, Frida. Everything's normal. I mean, like, Nikocado is, like, a really extreme example of someone, like, ruining their body for the sake of, like, clout and money. Isn't Nikocado losing weight right now? I don't know. I don't follow him. They might be. Yeah, he might be. Um, another really, what's another really good example is there is this dentist guy. I actually don't know who he is. Um, but I know that my niece was, like, a really big, like, fan of him. Because he, he, he definitely, like, markets himself for the younger audience in terms of, like, his editing, the way he, like, does the close-up zooms, like, it's very much, like, short attention span kid editing. Um, and he's, like, a dentist or, like, a dental assistant or something like that. He's always wearing scrubs. He always has, like, these little chewy tablets that, like, mark where, like, your plaque is. Like, it stains your teeth a certain color. Um, mm -hmm. so that it can help you brush. Um, and he used to test out, like, you know, tooth things, toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash. But then it devolved into him, like, eating things. Like, somehow, because, again, all of his content was mouth-related, like, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, then it went to, like, testing out candies, right? Like, how bad is this candy for your teeth? Then it evolved into, like, food. Like, how bad is this food for your teeth? And, like, nowadays when you see his content, like, not only has he put on, put on weight, right? Which, whatever, that, that's neither here nor there. But, like, just think about how he used to be, like, super stick skinny. And now he's definitely, like, a bigger, a bigger guy. Um, and all of his content mm -hmm. is different now. Like, he doesn't do anything... That's like, like dental related. related? To yeah, like he doesn't oh. do that for anymore. All he does is like food challenge videos. Like how many hot dogs can they eat in one sitting? And you I know, didn't know food like videos was such like a big like like topic online. I never watched a single one. I I feel like I have like misophonia. Like I hear sometimes like chewing is like really if it's like right in the mic, it's like ill ill. Yeah. Um. For me, it's definitely, like, it, it's just, like, the the sheer amount of food is what gets me. Like, I just don't like it when people are waste food 
or are like, let's see if I can eat 40 hot dogs. And it's like, I don't want to see you try and eat 40 hot dogs. Oh, like, yeah. I and know- then they're like stuffing their themselves and it's like, ah, no, please. Yeah, like, I just, like, that just uncomfortable. You look uncomfortable. This video is uncomfortable. Like, yeah. that's what I don't like. But I don't necessarily mind eating videos naturally. Like, I don't mind mukbangs. I don't mind, like, food ASMR I think it's like videos, the, I guess. It, you know, I I don't mind mukbangs. I mind ASMR. I think that's what it is. Like, the specifically the noises. When it's like, I don't mind eating noises, but it's like, when it's right in the mic, I'm like, ah, ah. Yeah, which makes sense. Um... Yeah, it's just, it's, yeah. So it's just unfortunate, like, how, how it devolved, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess he went after the content that works, but it's unfortunate that it's not what they wanted to do. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, that, that's exactly what it is, where it's like, unfortunately, the kid community... And I think we we mentioned this once before, where, like, kids are just the easiest audience to have because they sit home all day on their iPad. They don't have to worry about work. They don't... They just have the most free time. So it's the easiest, like, what is it, uh, audience... It's the easiest audience to have. Yeah. And maintain. Which means... Who dares? I don't know. Oh, it's Newell. Oh! Is... Hang on, gotta turn on the Newell channel. I'm waiting for everything to pop up, come on. Oh god, it's broken! Oh god! It's I'm waiting. broken. <laughs> Hang on. Oh dude, look at me! It's... I think it's all the colors. This is hilarious. This is exactly what I wanted. Hang on, I gotta fix it. I think you, <laughs> you changed the color of the... Yes, yes I did. I, I knew this would oh, happen. Oh, the, the chroma key's fucked up. Okay, it turned it to green. <laughs> Behold my final form. It's horrendous. <laughs> oh, I see. I understand what I'm looking at now. Hello. Hi. It's not fixed on stream, but I can tell what you are. <laughs> what do you mean? What? Huh? Is that better? Oh, no. I can't fully get rid yeah. of your green for some reason. It's fine. It, it's part of the check. It's it's part of the experience. It's okay. It's so funny. Freaking. Just here you looking at this. <laughs> I am. No, I'm currently trying yeah. to fix it. <laughs> this is the best I can do. <laughs> why, why are you dressed <laughs> like me? I... <laughs> What do you mean? This is my normal attire. I wear every single day in my morning montage. What's going on? What's, what, what's oh the issue, God. dear? Uh, the issue? I wonder. I wonder what the issue could be. <laughs> Looking in the mirror. Being strangled by the man in the mirror. The mirror. Ah. <laughs> so how you guys doing? Well, I guess you guys are doing okay because I've been listening this entire time. Behind the scenes. Stalker. There we go. Hello. Now we can see the whole the whole look. <laughs> Hello. I'm nautical Noe. I'm uh, I'm blue. You look like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> I am slightly concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Only certain? <laughs> What's wrong? I'm incredibly <laughs> concerned. <laughs> you know, After it's all subjective. Art. <laughs> After <laughs> stream, can you, like, I, I need to take, like, a normal screenshot, so I'm gonna have to, like, undo everything so that the thumbnail doesn't spoil the surprise. Okay, okay. <laughs> So you click on it and you're like, ah, oh, yes, an, a normal video. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> Hello. I'm here. You really do look like a frog. Like a frog? Well, thank you. Just the way you've dr- drawn yourself, you look I'm... a little bit like a frog. I'm just a fraud. I'm like, I'm a fraud. I think that's the point. But if I'm a frog, that's not the point. But that's still pretty funny. Yeah, no, I don't know how you landed in frog territory here, but you really did. Cool. 
Like, respectfully. He looks like a fancy cat. You're a little, you're a, you're a I'm a sassy frog kitty. Like. I'm a sassy kitty. I think it's the shape of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's the what? shape of the mouth. <laughs> Blah! What are you I thought it was a about? cat, too. <laughs> you're frog coated. Oh, you know what it kind of does? You know what? Now that I'm seeing it, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> the more I look at this, the more I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Got well, the point across. You got oh, look, the real you. Pink Paletta joined! <laughs> Hi, I'm Pink Paletta. I'm, I'm actually a mannequin. W mannequin, hello. I, I draw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pink. My favorite color is pink. I I only see in pink. I have rose tinted glasses. I can't take them off. I'm so scared. <laughs> it's imposter orange woman out of here. Ah! Oh, no! I have rose <laughs> glasses. That's funny. Um, now that I have the time, I'm working on Tuan. Oh! Tuan. Tuan's being animated, tell me, or he's being boiled. <laughs> tell me when you do it so that I can make his Minecraft skin, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's only, like, the face. I guess you're gonna have to, like... I guess I can do a full body, but I'm just doing the face. Just do like a the, little the... doodle of the, of the full body so I know what to, know what to do. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Got it. Orange woman. Orange paletta. Is there an orange word that starts with P? So I can I'm be pretty. periwinkle I can be periwinkle, periwinkle. paletta. Periwinkle paletta sounds so silly. I kinda do the I be periwinkle paletta? That sounds hilarious. Uh, well you're no, you're pink. So you're pink paletta. Yeah, you're right. What color is periwinkle? <laughs> it's a blue. <laughs> It's blue. Oh, it's like blue, really? Purple. Yeah, it's like almost I... purple. Oh, it is. Yeah, you're right. I was confused yeah, was when your work from home day was. Entertain us, pink woman. Yeah, Noel. Wait, what happened? Why are, you, why are you always confused? It's always Monday and Friday. What's what's the big idea? It's I, been that I, way for almost two years. Cause like I I I know Friday, but Monday I Monday guess I didn't know. Yeah, Monday always throws me off. Silly. That's why I like that's why I like stay up later on Sundays because I'm like it's tomorrow's Monday. Like I'm fine. I'm good. Oh. Fool. Rose. Uh, Entertain this pink woman. All right. So how do I uh? How do, I, how do I be pink paletta? Uh, uh, look at what I'm drawing. I'm drawing a woman. Look I'm at, look. drawing a woman. Are you not entertained? No. What? <laughs> I downloaded Among Us on my phone the other day because, like, I don't know. I just got the weird urge to play Among Us, and I was like, I'm just not gonna say anything in chat ever, which has been had really funny results. Like, not actually <laughs> trying. Especially because I've made my username pink, but I always make my character blue. blue. <laughs> so it causes arguments. Or like, some people started just calling me cyan, and so I switched to the rose color instead of the pink color. Which, that has created even more confusion. Oh <laughs> so God. I'm dedicated rose now. Because <laughs> people are like, pink! No, the, the color pink! No, the username pink! <laughs> I'm causing havoc everywhere you go. Yes, yes, yes. Causing... Confusion in the military. What? Kids being able to go to military training is okay because I used to do something called Civil Air Patrol. I stopped because I didn't enjoy it. Well, as as the resident Pink Paletta here, I I, I gotta say that that's kind of weird. Woman, well, what should I do with? What would you do if you were orange? Well, if I was orange? <laughs> You're just answering all the questions and. I, uh, <laughs> that I, I uh, me, Pink Valletta. Me, me, Pink Valletta. I, I would, uh, I would tell you to stop judging color and just enjoy who I am for who I am. No, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying words. Not enough f bombs. You're not the real pig. <laughs> I know. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, should I start just like cussing up a storm? I'm like, nah. That's that's, that's like Huckleberry Finn. I'm 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 good. I'm fine. I have nothing to yell at. I'm I'm having fun with the squad. 
I do not say slurs like Huckleberry Finn. <laughs> I say <laughs> the F word liberally. Fucking orange, mate. <laughs> See, told you. Civil right. Air Patrol was pretty fun, though. I quit mainly because of the military aspect. I still have my aspect. uniform, though. Genuinely, <laughs> that's really weird. Uh, especially... Like... Mm, no. No, I, I don't think miners should be, should do that. That's that's weird. That's really weird. What do you think, Sophie? I think the military is incredibly predatory. Um, and I don't mean that in a, I, I don't mean that in a sexual sense. I mean like they're predatory, in the sense of like they take advantage of young children into thinking that the military is like this great, amazing worthwhile thing when in reality all they do is essentially abuse you for fun and then the, you, the fact that the like colleges of, like, give your information to like milit like military the military whoa, like that's nuts they did that with me i just realized oh i forgot yeah. about yeah. that and, and again they they're predatory and they pray they especially pray on young people of color who they deem don't have like a college future that's why, disproportionately, a lot of the men that go into the military are men of color. Of color. Because of the fact that, like, they're already experiencing systemic racism that prevents them from getting into college. Or they go to high schools, they're just stuck in school systems where college is just not an option for them. Like, since, chi like, since elementary school, they've been going to these underfunded, like schools that don't support their knowledge don't support anything like good for their education you know what i mean so like yeah unfortunately all these like people of color all these men of color they're not gonna make it to college and that was something that was determined by them by was determined by society like at the beginning of their childhood because they already grew up in a neighborhood or an area that have underfunded schools so like from the beginning those kids are not getting to college like, they're just not. And so, the easiest place to send them is the military. And that's why I don't like the military. That's why I despise the military. I dislike how predatory they are, especially when it comes to kids of kids of color. And also keep in mind that, like, they also encourage you to sign up for the military before you're even of age. So, they set up on high school campuses... And they allow you to sign up to join the military at ages 15, 16, 17, so that when you turn 18, you can immediately go into a they military just go program. in. Yeah, that you can immediately just go in. Like, tell me that that's not predatory. Like, at 15, yeah, no. at 15, they're telling you, you don't have a future, you should come join the military. Because in the military, you're going to have a future, kid. And then what they actually are going to do is they're going to take you into the military, they're going to yell, they're going to abuse you, they're going to, like, do all this horrible shit to you, and then they're going to send you off to hopefully not die. Like... I mean, yeah, when you, that's why when you said that, I was like... Mmm... That sounds bad. <laughs> so, no. I... I don't like the military. <laughs> Actually, yeah. It's like un yeah. unlock flashbacks for me, oh my god. <laughs> I work with a military vet. He saw his friends die and almost died multiple times. Poor dude, he has PTSD, he can't sleep. No, Actually, exactly. I work with two military vets. Damn security attracts a lot of them. Damn, security attracts a lot of them. Well, yeah, because they're so traumatized that, like, what else are they supposed to go do? Like... Yeah, no, it's true. There, there was this guy that used to come speak to our... He he was sort of like a friend of our history teacher. Um, and so he would come... He would come by and talk at our school about like his, his experiences in... I think it was Afghanistan. It, w it was something. It was one of those... One of those Are you talking about like college or high school? High school. It was okay, one I was of like, those... Wait a second. Yeah, I, I forget where he went, where he was deployed, but he he was actually in, like, the war. Like, he actually killed people, he saw people getting killed, and his friend died, too. Uh, and then it really sucks, because he was really young, I think. 
I think he was under 30. He was under 30 years old. He just died recently. Recently being, like, in the past, like, five five or so years. He just he just died. And oh. we're pretty sure that he unalived himself. Because he literally couldn't take, like, the mental strain of being a veteran. Oh my god. That's another thing, too, is that the way veterans are treated. Yeah. Occasionally get a discount at Denny's, that's all you get. It's literally just 10%. That's like less than most that's taxes. That's like the tax. Yeah. Yeah. And Isn't usually like the a seniors lot of discount way more? I don't think it's way more. I think the senior discount is also probably 10 or 15%. Oh, okay. Still though. But if you're a senior vet... You get 20% off. Oh, gee, they stack the freaking discount stack. That'd be insane. <laughs> you only get one. You got to choose whether you're using your senior discount or your veteran's discount. Security is an easy job unless you get a terrible post in bad neighborhood. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard stories. One of my coworkers used to work in uh, security, and he kind of hated it. So <laughs> he's glad he, he's glad he's like where he is now. You know, Jason Jr. like is like mall security, like, like Paul Blart style, and he likes it. It's chill. <laughs> Paul Blart. Jason Jr. does not mind being Paul Blart. Who are you drawn? I just realized. Was the name of the stream? Well, I'm like, did they <laughs> did they have a name? That's what I meant. Sorry. <laughs> Not supposed to name them. Oh, actually, no. I did write down a, a sort of name for them. The, the tattooed tiefling. She's not really a tiefling. I was gonna give her like weird pointy feet, but I figured she is a demon girl. So, mm. some sort of name. Can okay. What is what is the what is the D and D rules? Can I give her like little hoof feet? I want to give her hoof feet. Just I give her hoof believe feet. that that would no longer make her a tiefling. Her I tiefling. think that would more closely make her like a cambion or like mm -hmm. a demon or a devil because they're apparently all different in D and D. I had no idea, but yeah, like tieflings, demons, devils, like I just I just called her a tiefling to... because I wanted the alliteration. Mm -hmm. Well, that that title's out the window. <laughs> yeah. So Unless maybe maybe she's a hybrid. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she she qualifies under D and D race. I think she is just your own version of a demon. Like uh -huh. like uh, what am I trying to say? Like a uh, delightful de delightful's demon. Ah yes. So is Twan still here? Let me see. Is he? I think he is. He was. He was here. He was yeah, was like, a cool, idea, cool idea for like when his mask is up. Um, he could, like the actual mouth of his mask can move when he talks. That'd be kind of cool. Well, that'd be nuts. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I want to see if I can like, make that work and not make that look weird. Maybe a satyr. Oh, but satyrs are like deer, aren't they? I think so. I think of when I think of satyr, I think of uh the guy from Narnia, Thomas. Narnia, He's me too. Occasionally, <laughs> my mind will wander to Danny DeVito, but I mostly think of Narnia guy. <laughs> I think it's Thomas. I, I I think it's Thomas pronounced like hummus. Thomas. <laughs> I don't know if my character should have a face under his mask or not. I was thinking it could just be a pitch black hole where his face should be. That would be cool. Yeah, that seems like a cool concept. Go legs. Oh, and then Antoine says, like, more like goat people. That was a goat legs. I mean, the devil is a goat, right? Or is, like, represented through goat? Goat. Uh. There's a lot of confusion with the devil and Baphomet, who is a demon, but not the devil. Also, I found out that 
Lucifer and Satan are two different like entities. Yeah, I've heard that before. Yeah, that like Lucifer is very specifically the fallen angel, whereas Satan is very specifically like the ruler of hell or something like that. Yeah, like the king of hell. <laughs> Incredibly handsome. Like the thing in Flapjack where he takes off the mask and he's like, What? You thought I was ugly. <laughs> Just Antoine. <clears throat> Antoine under his radio clown mask. It's ugly. You're wrong. You thought I was ugly? He's like Squidward. Again, he has like nerd. a. <laughs> there me. Where there's me, it's where there's nothing hit. under the mask with a blank space. I did decide recently, uh, Change of Malice's Whoa. lore, that, like, underneath her mask is literally, like, a void that enters her brain. Like, not, Whoa. like, in a physical sense, in, like, a... a metaphorical sense, you know? Like, enter her thoughts. You can't, like, stick your hand and it's, like, a hole into her head. <laughs> not that I thought, like, lion. Just, like, wow, enter your face! Yes. And then her, her thoughts spill out, like all of her hallucinations just spill out into the real world, which is why she keeps the mask on. Oh, wait, that's kind of cool. Visually, yeah. that sounds awesome. Yeah, 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 all of, her, all of her funky hallucinations just like spilling out all over all over the place into the real <laughs> world. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. Oops, oops. <laughs> she needs to collect them all. <laughs> yeah, I also thought it'd be fun if she could, like, when the mask is off is the only time she can talk normally. But it's also interrupted by the by <laughs> all the gunk. Oh, you're dating. <laughs> Maybe I'll just give her normal legs. This isn't going well. Or actually, no. Mm -hmm. I can fix this. I can fix this. So no giving up. You can fix her. As a resident can... pink Poleta, you can do this. I believe in you. I can fix her, or I can make her worse. <laughs> oh God. I think my character shouldn't speak, or at least not speak very often. I don't know, though. There's this one, like... It was like a Mother's Basement video where he was talking about this one, like, anime that's, like, garbage. But he said, one thing that was kind of cool is this one <laughs> character who speaks in fire. Like, she has, like, these, like, little strips of paper. What? Yeah. She has these little strips of paper, and then like, she'll set them on fire, and then the words written on them will, like, appear in front of the other character in English. Like, it'll say, like, Hello! Hi, my name is, you know. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, yeah. But in fire. Ooh. And apparently she can't normally speak. She just does that to fuck with people. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen <laughs> the show. That's what he said. But that concept has been in my brain. Make him speak when necessary, like Judge Dredd, Truzer. Like Judge Judy. Truzer. Judge Judy. <laughs> That's the first thing I read. I was like, I didn't read Dread. I just read Judy. You read, you read Judge, and your brain autofilled to Judy. Red. Yes, yes. I obviously read Dread, but I was like, but Judy. <laughs> I also thought you said Trudy as well, like Judge Trudy. I was like, who's that? Judy with a J. Trudy, Trudy. I would never say such a thing. I just hijacked all your socials. Hi, guys! Hello! <laughs> Alright, you can make one tweet as me. Like, I'm writing it right now. What do you want to say? Or, like, write it in Discord and then I'll post it. Okay. You get one, one legal Alright. <laughs> tweet as me. 
Mm-hmm. I'll make it the most vile, sickening thing you've ever seen. Oh god, it's gonna be like... Oh, what's, what's his name? Like, Kuro and like the, the Pinkie Pie, like, thing he tweeted. Fucking okay, seven feet tall, <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> how tall is Shaq? Like, exactly how tall is Shaq? Let me see. Just Judy's just trying to see. How tall? He's seven what? Oh wow, he is seven feet tall. Okay. Who? Shaquille O'Neal. Jeez. Do you think it'd be cool to have a name that rhymes like Shaquille O'Neal? Or do you think that'd be unfortunate and feel like you'd be like bully worthy? I think it really just depends on what the name is. Like mm -hmm. if your name like Shaquille O'Neal is is a cool name, <laughs> but if your name was like I, I can't think of anything, but speaking of Jack Judy, Jack Black Judy, rhymes. See, Jack Black works like but again, if your name was like Judy Trudy, like that's horrendous. And that's bully worthy, unfortunately. Yeah, like that's bully worthy. Oh, I hate this, Noel. Mm. All right, you did like the you did <laughs> the most like... innocent thing that like you knew I would still dislike. How did you do that? Like, <laughs> this is the most like. You think I'm actually doing something vile? <laughs> Come on. That's what I mean. Is like you 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 didn't do anything vile. Like I didn't expect you to, but you still managed to do something that I'd hate. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. It's one. It's uh, one of my special skills. It's one of my special skills. Yeah, no, that that takes some skill to make something like so like innocent, like that. I still dislike it. <laughs> Absolutely horrific. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like my name that rhymes. Your name doesn't rhyme. Oh, Ashy Slashy rhymes. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I was like, I was like, what the? What did you, what did you just read? What is his username? <laughs> oh, but that's your username. That's not like your actual like legal name. That you know of. That you know. You don't know that. Oh, true, 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 true. true I guess you don't. What are, what are more names that rhyme? More celebrities with rhyming names? Do you it's know that you. Jack Black's name is, is Thomas? That, like, Jack is, like, a nickname? <laughs> really? No way. Yeah. Apparently, like, okay. according to him... Uh, the reason his name is Thomas, like, his parents call him Jack, like, he's always been Jack, but, um, his legal name is Thomas because, like, apparently his family has, like, a streak going, like a, like a Thomas Black, the, the, the 48th going on, okay. and so that's why he's Thomas, uh, and so mm -hmm. he was, like, I hate it because, like, that's not even my name, like, I'm, I'm Jack, you know? But then he ended up naming mm -hmm. his son like Thomas, and he was like, "I, I couldn't when it when it came time, I couldn't break the chain. I, I, I kept resist. I kept mm -hmm. I kept it going." <laughs> Anytime well, someone yeah, says no, true, if you're, you're forty seven, Thomas is deep. You can't be the one that's gonna be like <laughs> the break the chain. Your name is Jonathan. Jerry. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, my gamer's boyfriend Eric is the same way of like. He's Eric, and we call him Eric, um, but that's his middle name. Oh, and Kathy, too! Actually, both of my grandma's friends, Kathy and Eric, both go by their middle names, because their their names are... His name is actually Floyd, but that's his dad's name, and so they call him his middle name, Eric, to, like, to avoid confusion. But if we're gonna call him Eric, then why name him Floyd? <laughs> I don't know. I know Kathy uh, goes by Kathy just because she dislikes her first name. Her first name is Dorette, and is like, that's an awful name and I hate it, so I'm going to go by my middle name instead, which I think is valid, because I think Dorette is kind of 
<laughs> Toret is honestly name. kind of horrific. Horrendous. What? 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 Out of ten? A pet or child? That. <laughs> pet or child? I don't know. I feel like Dorette would work for a turtle. <laughs> that's yeah. That's oh man, Dorette, turtle. he's died. Turtle name. My dead name, Dorette. My dead name. Durant, 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 Durant. <laughs> Jerry, Harry. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Schnevel Devil. I don't slept in two days, dog. You understand? I sleep every night and I'm still tired now. Ashy slashy. It'd be like that. <laughs> Life be exhausting sometimes. Oh, Sophie, do you yearn for the mines? I do yearn. I always yearn. Yes. Hmm. I'm also very tired though, so mm. I have See so, a short a short I, one today. Yeah. I I mean obviously you guys feel free to use up all the hours, but I think I might might not be for I don't know, I always say that that I end up I think you end up just getting dragged in. I mean I'm gonna hop up so I can go like eat some food real quick. So I've been sitting down. Uh but like after that, maybe at like uh eight I I might play. Depends on. <laughs> I'm about to just swap in. <laughs> no, this is. I'm. I'm the true pink paletta. What's going on? I. I. It's been me all along. I've been the one pulling the strings, and unfortunately, the strings broke today. Uh, it's. Uh, it's me. I am the pink Lorax. Paletta. I speak for the trees. It's a. Uh, I speak for the trees. Have, I speak uh, for the pink. pink Noe and nautical paletta. <laughs> pink Noe. <laughs> Yep, that's just who we are. Yep. I we, this is our final form. This is our true form. <laughs> what do you, what do you mean, Mars? Just... <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah, see, 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 see? Mars gets it. Oh, sorry, not Mars. Uh, Truzer gets it. Yes. truzer has been here this whole time. They've kept up. Truzer. More like Faker. I'm so sorry. Falser. <laughs> Falser? <laughs> I didn't call you a truther! <laughs> False Falser is crazy. <laughs> Honestly, that also would make a good username. If you ever need, like, an alt account. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or like April Fool's joke or something. Hi guys, my name is Falster. Falser, <laughs> Falser's home for a <laughs> I'm gonna go back to being gone. <laughs> Hang on, oh, wait, wait, wait. I just, back. I just thought of something. I need to make your your background pink. Oh yeah, yeah. I got I gotta blend in my surroundings. Make me pink. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Twenty five minutes left. All right, let me see. Give it a second. Yay! Oh god, it's I I can't. My hair. I'm oh, sorry. My my hair is blending in. No, it's uh, not. Yes. I know it's not. <laughs> uh, because the only thing I have to talk about today seems to be drama. Uh, Sophie, have you seen what J.K. Rowling <laughs> just said? No. Oh dear lord, what is she doing? The transphobia has gone on to Holocaust denial. Hooray! Oh, <sighs> she really needs to stop. I, I don't understand why no one- Someone take her phone away. <laughs> no, yeah. Like, someone- Someone tell the old lady to go back into, under her freaking Bridge. <laughs> 
just had Sonic Adventure 2 cutscene play out in my head. You and Noe doing the Sonic and Shadow Faker conversation. <laughs> oh my god, I can animate that. That'd be hilarious. I'm gonna strap on my padlocks. No. I'll make you eat- I'll make you eat those words! I don't know who would be Sonic, but who would be Shadow, but it <laughs> would be silly. Sophie, of, of the two of us, who's Sonic and who's Shadow? The two of us? Of Noelle and I. Oh, that's difficult. Because <laughs> we both exude similar energy. Yeah, you're, bo you're both Sonic is the issue. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Draven, Antoine, like they're shadows. I'm Eggman, excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they just called you round. Yeah, what the hell, Eggman? Do you miss your wife? I don't have did, did a Did she wife. get pissed on? Did she get pissed on? We need, we need these the answers now. Fucking Sonic the Hedgehog, you, you and Jesse pissed on my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Collectively. <laughs> Gross. Didn't Shadow piss on his wife? Yeah, I was with Shadow. So we didn't do anything. Oh, I thought it was Sonic. <laughs> no, no. Also, to uh, defend myself, I'm clearly more of a silver. How very good <laughs> you called me Eggman. <laughs> you actually like silver? I don't know enough about the Sonics to really judge, honestly. Antoine said, wait, did I just get called Shadow? All my life has been leading to this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're officially the hottest hedgehog now, how do you feel? What are you going to do now? Like, I'm just saying, if the only two options are Sonic and Shadow, like, if those are the only two categories, Antoine, Draven, me, we all fit more into the Shadow care category. Frida fits more into the Shadow category. You, Noel, Matoon. Matoon, yeah, you guys are all Sonics. <laughs> and Frida, Frida, Frida might also sometimes be a Sonic. Like, I feel like. Depends on the day. She's more of a Charmy B. She's <laughs> more of a Charmy B. <laughs> Definitely not Charmy B. Charmy B is. Too Frida's much that one story. alligator. Oh, oh yes! Yeah. Yeah, vector, Vector! Oh, yeah, vector, hi! <laughs> oh my god... Would you say Knuckles energy? Again, I'm I'm shooting, like, blind. For Frida? No, yeah. Vector. Vector. Is that more on it with Vector? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Vector's probably closer. I don't think we have anyone that really exudes Knuckle energy. Because Knuckles is, like, hot-headed. Ah. Uh. I don't feel like any of hey, us can you alive. can you assign Sonic Sonas to everyone like w without <laughs> just like Sonic and Shadow extending it to everyone? I'm curious what your hot takes are. Yeah, I mean Noel is obviously Sonic. Like mm -hmm. you know, chili dogs. Very, <laughs> very obviously Sonic. Hi. Um, just, you're just very much my Sona. vanilla. You're very much a vanilla. The rabbit. The rabbit, not the little rabbit, her Cream. mom. Oh, her, her mom. Yeah, her mom. Her mom's name. You're very oh. Much a oh, oh no, the little one is Cream, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, little... yeah, Cream and Cheese. Oh. Little child. Yeah. Little oh, child. Um, but you're vanilla. You're very specifically Cream's mother. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so sorry, Jess. I'm so... <laughs> Hang on, I gotta, I gotta look who this is. Like, I continue to be mom coded. You are mom coded. Like you just are. <laughs> Here we go. Well, at least she's cute. I won't. I won't argue this one. <laughs> I won't. I won't uh, argue like character coding if they're cute. Although, again, I have beef with Fluttershy because I just <laughs> I feel well, like no, Fluttershy's Fluttershy... mean. <laughs> mean. I, I don't think you could be Fluttershy coded, honestly, because Fluttershy is is she's like shy and cowardly and awkward, which I don't think you are. I think you're very, like, confident as a person, you know what I mean? Like, when you don't like something, you're gonna tell someone that you don't like something. You're not mm -hmm. just gonna be like, 
Oh, okay. That's fine, I guess. Like, you're not that type of person. Mm -hmm. You're not me at Starbucks. Yeah, no, like, I'm gonna be that's... like, he asked for, he asked for no onions. No, exactly. You're the type of person <laughs> that when they put pickles on my Big Mac, you're gonna step up and be like, um, excuse me, she asked for no pickles. <laughs> um... Frida Fluttershy code coded me one time, and that's why I've had like beef this whole time. Yeah, yeah, I'm I, like, I, I just remember that. <laughs> yeah, you're very not Fluttershy coded. Like you're Applejack coded. That's what you are. You're dead. Oh shit. Applejack. Yeah, no, Fluttershy is way off. Oh, like, dude, Anton likes it. Let's go. Uh. Sorry. Actually, made his teeth move and everything when he talks with the mask. It's kind of cool. Uh. Yeah, I'll, I will put it in art. <laughs> yeah, I like this is a commission. I'm just like, guys, look at this. It looks really cool. <laughs> commission now. Whoa! <laughs> I like that you made his eyes wonky. It's cute. <laughs> Antoine's a wonky man. In, in the best <laughs> way possible. <laughs> wonky. It's just kind of silly and chill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I got that out of the way. I'll work on this later, but like, heck yeah, looking good. Uh, what can I do now? I you said I'm you were like, finishing it today. <laughs> you know, I was. I have 15 minutes. I, you know, and, uh, you're right. I was gonna finish it today. I was just like, eh. <laughs> I'll, I'll work on it after I, uh, after I have food. Wait. Are you hungry? Yeah, I, I can see why if you're like, my brain is thinking about food, not art. Mm, it's, it's almost ready. Yeah, like I said, at 7 o'clock I'll hop off to get some food, to lie mm -hmm. down, and then I'll hop back at 8 to play Mince Ref. Are you or just draw, whatever, I don't know. No! <laughs> I just want to lie down! Why can't I just lie down? Never! What the hell? <laughs> Can you took an, an I can't do anything in my own house. one time, and now we're not gonna let it go. Oh. Go eat chili dogs. Oh. Well, if I wasn't already cooking, like, some chicken, I would totally do that. Do you have chili? Yes. And I have oh. dogs. Well, actually, I have to go buy some dogs, actually. But I can't. You said I gotta go buy some dogs. <laughs> you can go buy some dogs! I'm imagining you I, I gently. Got that dog. I'm imagining you <laughs> gently placing three pomeranians into your oven. No. I, I got that dog. I got that dog in me, man. I got that dog. <laughs> With like a, a capitalized W. <laughs> dog. It's so mean. When I, I say have put... that dog in me, I mean cinema roll. <laughs> cinema roll. Cinema roll's a dog. C yes. I had that I goofy. I thought Cinema Roll was a bunny. <laughs> Same. I need to look this up, right? Let me use the power of YouTube. Or sorry, the, the power of Google, sorry. Let me at least see. Let me check. Pulling out my inner pink paletta. I gotta check the internet. Let me see. <laughs> uh, species? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not gonna cinnamon believe roll. Sophie. Cinnamon, cinnamon roll is a white puppy with chubby. What? It's like what the hell can he's British? Excuse me, what is this bomb drop? He's a puppy! Well, I thought he was. Given his shape language, I thought he was a freaking bunny. He's a dog. <laughs> I'm not a dog person, canonically. Well, actually, canonically. I guess I like dogs and cats. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. I, like, I love all animals. I was like, I forgot that you were talking about me for a second. I was like, oh, <laughs> what? Like, same. Yeah, sorry. I was like, what's up with dogs? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I forgot I was still, still pinky. And for today. For, for forgot the, that for you're, the you're, in, you're in character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. I broke character for two seconds. Please forgive me, chat. I'll be pinky. Ooh. Don't, don't, don't cancel me. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I wonder if anyone Twitter is gonna be like, what the fuck, or if, if people are just gonna act like this isn't no a normal tweet from me. <laughs> oh, did you put it out already? Yes. Oh my god, I gotta retweet this. Sorry, I gotta look at my own tweet, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Has anyone replied to it? No, no, it's just, I just, the fact that I'm looking at this on my screen, I'm looking at my own tweet being like, damn, I posted this. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm screenshotting this forever. <laughs> oh god. Like... It's blackmail. Uh, yeah, I'm like, alright, if you don't, like, Make me uh, oh sandwich. Oh my god. What happened? Guys, please, what? please, right what? now, right what? now, look what? up Milk, the Sanrio character. Okay. Up, right now. Oh. Baby. Tell me he is not the cutest thing oh. you've ever seen in your whole life. He's not the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Well, you're wrong. I mean, you told me to say that. You're wrong and a liar. Oh! It's a, it's a pinky he way. So cute. That That's what I mean. When I say I have that dog in me, it's... <laughs> you have this. You have this. You have I like this dog. specific image of milk. This is this is Sophie. This. <laughs> that's me. That's what I mean when I say I have that dog in me. <laughs> this awesome. is the dog. <laughs> yes, that's me. <laughs> Sophie getting out of work. <laughs> me hopping on the computer. <laughs> you hopping in the bed. God, I don't know why this picture is like just pulling teeth. Maybe it's just not like a good art day. I knew I should have played Minecraft. I knew I should have played the Poison Potato update. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't want. When I saw it was an art stream, I was like, uh. Well, of all days? No. I just, I don't know, but Monday, Monday, Tuesday are art stream, so I guess I just like stuck to the, the schedule. I didn't, I didn't stop to think about it too much. I should have I should have played the Minecraft potato update. That would have been funnier. Oh wait, does wait does that mean I get to see the thing at the end of the stream? Oh my god! Yes! Yeah, you gotta say it. Yes. You know this was the best decision I made. Is it day. is it too is it too late to pivot? Yeah, it's way too late to pivot. <laughs> We really have 10 minutes left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. When you say you have this dog in you, this is what you mean. This is specifically for Jesse. Me? Oh, what, what dog? This, this is the dog. That, that's the dog when you say you have this dog in you. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, oh my god, you have a you have a pet unicorn named Cornell. Oh my god. Cornell. There it is. Oh my god, I love the unicorn even more. Hang or on, the unicorn Cornette. is my favorite. Cornet. The unicorn is my favorite thing. I love this stupid horse. I want this horse forever. Horse girl era. Horse girl era. I really am in my horse girl area right now. All I want to do is draw horses. All I want to do is draw horses. And then, like, Tumblr keeps rewarding me for drawing horses, and it's like, well, it's what the people want. Maybe I should draw more horses. <laughs> oh, did I miss the picture? I wanted to see the dog. As oh, if here's you the dog. Like, as if you weren't, like, mom-coded slash older sister-coded, I just found that that apparently that dog, the dog that I sent you, is apparently Cinema Roll's older sister. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> it's so cute! 
Ooh, if what idea draws as like Sanrio? If, if we were Sanrio characters, what would, do, what would we look like, Black? Oh, kind of I guess we would have to one. pick. <laughs> what happened? You're the penguin, Noel. Oh, I even thought the same thing. I was like, I'm oh, just already the penguin. Yeah. Oh, wait, and Tuxedo already... Sam! I love Tuxedo Sam. Oh, you're right. I was thinking of the other penguin, sorry. Yo, look at him! He's so cute! Oh, I lied. This is- this is me. <laughs> this is very good. <laughs> oh my god, it's a rat! <laughs> a little rat. My rat. So cool. What's their name? Their name is apparently Chumi. Chumi. Also, it's Christmas time. It is! Sophie, have you gaslit anyone today? I haven't. I I should, I guess. You do it to me. Then you know it's coming. Ah, you're right. <laughs> still gaslighting though. It's still it's not. Oh yeah, you're. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what else did what you find? What character is this? They're so cute. Oh, I've seen her before. I love them. A little cheeky. Apparently, uh, a bunch of Sanrio characters were retired the other day. Yeah, I really? saw. Like, what do you Did mean? They like, finally they're... retire the racist one. Excuse me. Hopefully. Or yeah, there's a horrible like African caricature Sanrio character, like an official Sanrio character. Uh... Look this up. I don't even know what they're called. I don't know their name. But they're all cute. Excuse me. Ah. All right. I'm hating how this is coming out. So we're gonna pivot and we're gonna draw a horse because no one can stop me. Hmm? Sophie. Sophie. Yes. Unicorn or Pegasus? Uniponesis. Uniponesis. You know, now that I think about it. I don't think I've ever seen a chubby pony except for that one. The one chubby pony. What's her whoa. name? Oh, whoa, Nelly. <laughs> her name is Whoa Nelly? That's so messed up. It is. That's so rude. She's the only pony whose cutie mark is herself. What? That's yeah. so rude. Actually, now that I think about it, I think Whoa Nelly is just like a fan name, like Derpy Hooves. I don't think she actually has a name. Excuse me, Hello Kitty has a cat? I'm looking into this right now, it's so freaky. She's not even, like, she... drawn cutely. She's like... This Hello Kitty with a body. Oh, Hello yeah. Kitty. Whoa Nelly is the placeholder name of a female background unicorn pony that appears in several episodes. There's someone who tried yeah. to draw her, like, a little more cutely. Yeah, like, they didn't even draw her in a cute way. They make her look like... <laughs> Why'd they do that to her? <laughs> yeah, oh, man. look, that's what she looks like in canon. That's horrible. Oh, what the looks hell? Like a boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's Is another... Face, yeah. Like, like when, another like... cute fan art. Oh, this is bad. This is more appealing. I appreciate Dude, the fan artist. <laughs> yeah, the fan, fan artist really saved this one. Why are her eyes yellow? I don't know. They even chose an ugly color scheme for her. <laughs> She's just a very mean pony all around. Hang on, little kitty mouse. Always need the little, little kitty mouse. Bye, Truzer. Bye, Truzer. Jinx. Later, Truzer.
Do you want like your half up, half down hair as a as a pony, or do you want like just the buns? Um, I I guess half up, half down. But if it doesn't work, <laughs> you're getting your wish. You get to just draw ponies. <laughs> just, I'm just drawing. Well, Tumblr's gonna explode. Time yeah, you left. Have done, like pony adopts. <laughs> I can do pony adopts, can't I? <gasps> That's what we're doing tomorrow. The power is in your hand. Like, you can do what you want. The future is yours. You I don't know why you don't think of these things. <laughs> I don't think of these things. Like, clearly said you wanted, you wanted to draw ponies. <laughs> so why don't you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, sometimes I get caught up in what I think I should be doing instead of what I want to be doing. Yeah. It's not very comfortable. It's that algorithm, man. It's been kicking my kicking my ass. You're a foolish fool. Who's How foolish? Do I do? Is there any pony that has like a bun hairstyle? Like two buns? Because I feel like your ears and your buns are competing. There's probably not, probably for that exact reason. Mm. Alright, you just get to have one. How about, like, we'll say that you tied your buns around your ears. Oh, and that'd be cute, like, animation-wise, because that means, like, your your buns can twitch. Ooh. And <laughs> the whole joke is I can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? Huh? <laughs> I mean, you can normally hear through your hair, like when you just have your hair down. That's true. Okay, I'm still getting pony proportions right, so this might be like a little bit of a struggle. Is this cute? Is this... Yeah. I feel like I, I keep making their bodies too long. I think they just have little, have little bean bodies. <laughs> I extrude them way more than I mean to. Do I put the clown garb on you even as a as a horse, it's or do going. I just put like little socks on you? I guess just socks. I guess we gotta we gotta. The ponies are are usually naked. Yeah, naked, naked. Ah, yes. Oh, you're gonna draw Antoine with with with, with, with pistol. La pistol. He's like, hey, hey, hey. I have a firearm and I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I forget, can't forget the the uniponesis part. Macaroni and I'm not hungry. Actually, so actually, just eat the Which macaroni. Which is hilarious because it seems that like, what do they call them in the actual show? Uh, alicorns. Alicorns, there we go. Like, it's funny because it seems like alicorns are are reserved for, like, really- They're really exclusively people. royalty, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that means that you're a princess of some sort. The Whoa. clown- I truly have the clown crown. <laughs> you're the clown princess. I you know that have. according to Lauren Faust, if it was up to her, there would only be two, just like Luna and Celestia? Then she left, and Hasbro was like, "More princesses, <laughs> more kids no. love princesses. They sell I mean, so many playsets." I mean, they're tr it's true. Who doesn't love a good princess? You know. Yes. Pulls out a gun that shoots toy flag. <laughs> No, no, these are these are real weapons. <laughs> he just starts going guns blazing. Oh god. This is a holdup. <laughs> okay, I hope I I hope I did your pony proportions well. Again, I'm still figuring out pony proportions in general. And there's no chubby ponies. Nah, I Except... like it. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about Nelly. <laughs> Even though we already did. Poor Nelly, I can't believe they did her so dirty. Yeah, even if that isn't her name, like, that's still, like... 
<laughs> bad <laughs> design. Bad yeah, like her design is horrible. Her color scheme is horrible. We were saying, oh, well, it's kind of cute because she, she, her cutie mark is herself, which means that she loves herself. And it's like, I don't know, that kind of feels like it's a joke, too. Yeah, it does feel <laughs> like, like it's a joke. Like implying that sh maybe she shouldn't. <laughs> Nobody Just... else loves themselves, oh god. <laughs> no, 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 that may, may, maybe she shouldn't love herself so much, you know? Ow. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Butt mark. What's on your butt? What's your butt mark? What's what makes you special? It's not necessarily a talent. It's just what makes you special. Um. Um. I wasn't ready to answer this question. <laughs> uh, we'll get back to it. Draw Noel instead. Yo! Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't wait to be a pony. Sorry, if uh, uh, what the hell is it called? Not a pony. Uh, Pegasus? Yeah. Well, you can be a pony. Oh, no, yeah, no, it's a pony. Or you can be a unicorn. Or you can be a Pegasus. Oh, I, I feel like you're, you're Pegasus. A I feel like you're a Pegasus kind of pony. I got wings. I drink a lot of Red Bull. I drink a lot of Red Bull. I feel like, uh... Like, Pegasus, like... How do I, how do I describe it? What is, what is Pegasus energy? Cause like it's a little bit of an ADHD energy, but it's also like, like kind of a graceful energy too. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, Sophie? I'm gracefully erratic in my thoughts. Gracefully erratic. Cause like I feel I feel like, uh, unicorns have this tendency to be like the really meticulous ponies, the really like need things a certain way. Whereas, like, Earth Ponies don't really have any sort of specific energy to them. All the Earth Ponies are different. Ponies. And I mostly say Pegasus because of your, like, propensity uh, to choose, like, movement-based things in video games. You're getting into skateboarding, too. You know? More, more of an interests thing than a personality thing. Why I say Pegasus. I see. Noel starts crying. He's like, I'm just like, I'm like, she can't be a Pegasus. You don't want to be a Pegasus? You can just no, no, be it's a fine, normal. No, I'm fine. You can be a normal horse if you want to be. Oh, I want to be a Peggy. Give me, I want, make me a Peggy. That sounds really... Whoa. Make me a Pegasus. Make me a Pegasus, hey, please. I'm never saying, saying that again. Answer? No, I don't want to. Peggy Hill comes into the chat. Peggy, I'm Peggy13. What? I, I don't know, the age rating in Europe, I think. Like, for video games. Oh. Oh, PG. Or, PG. Peggy. Peggy 7. Isn't it called Peggy? Okay, I gotta look this up. It's not PG, Sophie. Oh, well. You're just saying words at me, so <laughs> what, are, what do you expect from me? Yeah, I said Peggy Hill, like, from, from King of the Hill. <laughs> Suddenly you're talking about age ratings. He really Are your wings? just be yapping. <laughs> he just be yapping. I he told you, er erratic thoughts. <laughs> he just be yapping. Oh yeah, you definitely are a Pegasus then. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, I feel Peggy. like, like I feel like Frida is a Pegasus, you know. Not and not just because of like the Rainbow Dash illusion. <laughs> <laughs> I see myself as a unicorn, personally. Ooh. Like, we're going over, but it's worth it, because we're being drawn as ponies! Yeah! Yes. We can go over, it's fine. Yeah, Just can't happy. go under. It's pony time. Pony time. Should've been doing this the whole time! Oh well. I was like, my chicken can wait, it's fine. It's- it's- it's in- it's on warm. It's... slowly. 
Hang on, I need a Rustin. reference for, for, for boy ponies. They have Their faces are slightly different. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. They're manly. Ew. <laughs> yeah, they just have like a slightly like squarer face. Because they're men. Yeah. Like I, I don't think you want to be like a Shire horse like Big Mac, obviously, but you could be like like this guy where he has just like the slightly squarer face. See? Let me see. I'll be the judge of that. Oh wait, no, he's kind of square. Ooh, ooh. Another yeah, woman. See? Another woman. I like him. Like what's up? Yeah, yeah I have a see. broody. <laughs> you know? Okay, yeah. Now you you've uh, converted me. Yeah, make me uh -huh. make me make me square. Do it! I dare you. Because everyone, everyone has the same template. <laughs> Poor Nelly, I keep looking at it. I'm just like, God, what happened to you? What does it do to you? Can I draw? Is it possible to draw both your eyes? I'm gonna, I might have to cheat it. Mm -hmm. Cheat both of your eyes and the, the angle that you're at. God. Look at me. I'm majestic already. Right. You get to keep your stylized eyes because you're wearing glasses. Yeah. Fine. Keep your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I quote that all the time. And I haven't even... I've sat through Lord of the Rings, but I've never paid attention while watching it, so technically I've never seen Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Everyone freaks out. Like, you've never watched it? I'm like, dude, that's like so many hours of movie. I'm not down. That's yeah, like nine. <laughs> Jesus. It's so much movie. You have to, I'm like, sure it'll be good like, if I gave it <laughs> if I gave it the time of day, but I don't want you to. to a wall. That's the only time I'll watch it. Everyone else is like, well, what's wrong with you? Why you haven't watched every single, like, deleted scene? Or extended cut? I'm like, no! <laughs> My sister has. She loves them. She loves those movies. Look at me! You're a horse! I'm like, hello! I, 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 I'm in places where I shouldn't be. Like, right now. <laughs> Here I am, Kingdom Hearts style. In, in an art style, in a different world. <laughs> a world unfamiliar. My hair's still dripping. Oh man, when I got to when I got to uh, Lion King World, that was actually so freaking cool. I, I was literally not expecting that. That was so cool. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly you're a teeny little kitty. Yeah. You can kick ass. <laughs> the kitty with combos. Here. Combo kitty. Here you guys are friends and you're walking together. Oh god, my god, it's, it's, so like, it's like middle school. It's like middle school all over again. <laughs> I'll, oh, make you a little, I I'll make you a little bigger. <laughs> we, can't, we can't show this on stream, unfortunately. But I would like to please present you with a picture of me standing next to my friend. Um, I know that I'm a short person, but I don't understand how like comically short I look next to people. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense, because like I know that I'm short and I feel shorter than people, but I never look at myself and be like, "Damn, like I'm <laughs> short," you know. Until yeah. I saw this picture, let me see if I can find it, because I saw this picture and I was like, "Dear Lord, what?" Are you gonna put it in huh? stock? <laughs> I'm gonna put it. Oh, I should put it in stock. I was gonna put it in sharing, but you're right. I put it in stock. For privacy. <laughs> Going that way, it's like mm -hmm. over, over here. Horses are so hard to draw, but it's all I want to draw right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Up, so he's like, "Wow, Noel, you're still here," <laughs> and you're like, "I am." Hi. Like, Hi. I never left. It's been like I never left. more than a decade. I'm still here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, you'll be like. Cute if you're like hovering. Oh. 
Here it is, I found it. And keep in mind that my tall friend in that picture, she's not like abnormally large. She's How tall like, is I? She's mm. probably like 5'8. Mm. So like, why am I barely coming up to her shoulder? <laughs> like, why? Cause how? Yeah, no. That's it... So mad. Why am I she... that short? She looks like a more than a foot taller than you, which she mathematically wouldn't be. No. Yeah. And at first we thought, like, maybe it was the way that we were standing or something, but the other girl, the girl that's on her, o her other shoulder, we have another picture of the three of us next to each other, and she comes up to the same place, like, the same shoulder. So, like, I literally am that short. <laughs> You're kind of leaning forward, actually, to be fair. Yeah. Like, look, you're what leaning. Nice what a nice outfit, by the way. Hey, look at you. Thanks. Yeah, I really like that jacket. It's nice and warm. You're in all your chilling. You to keep your, your bracelet. Yay! Even in pony form. Yes. <laughs> always, always. Right. Pegasus, whatever the hell I am. Pegasus form. Uh, uh, Pegasus is still a pony. You're just a Pegasus oh, pony. Okay, okay. It, it, okay. I just have... I don't say flotation. Uh, flying powers. Yes. Implication of I language. I still love how cute Sophie is. She's like, wow! Sophie is my favorite so far. She's so cute. <laughs> so like, oh, cute. Boy. Oh boy. Like, oh boy, if only <laughs> Jessie were here. Oh my god! <laughs> there she is! <laughs> She's appearing! Slowly, manifesting into this world. Out of nowhere, <laughs> she's coming. Ah. All right, I'm done doodling. Oh. I have full attention on stream. Let's let's see. What's going on. I'm like, hi guys. What up? Sometimes I see clips on TikTok of this like. I, I guess it's a game. It's more of like a glorified chat room called Ponytown. There's a lot of oh, people who don't want to be interrupted in their <laughs> uh, sitting sessions. Think, yeah, and they're sitting around doing nothing. Yeah. 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 It's fun though. Like it's it's just like a browser game and it's free. So sometimes I'll just like wander around. It seems like you you can even like make your own pony or whatever, right? Like you, you can. can. Yeah. That's cool. It's like lots of lots of customization you can mess with I, I'd recommend it but again like once you get to like the actual chatting part it's then like oh nobody I don't want to be here seems... anymore I, I don't want to be here anymore I don't want to talk to these horses yeah. what was that bagel bagel, bagel boy bagel boy bagel boy a BB BB. Bagel boy. That's me. Well, actually, that's not Mas me today. Master has given Dobby a bagel! Master has given Dobby a bagel. I don't remember anything about Harry Potter, except for that. Actually, I remember a lot about Harry Potter, but still. I remember the... Not me, not Hermione. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Once I make my move, you're free to check the king. In front of a little boy's accent. <laughs> Why does he sound like that? Idiot. Which is <laughs> what happens when you're British. Yeah. Can't help it. That you mean <laughs> British, bro. Ugh. I am. Oh god. I said I'm imagining it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm, not, oh. I'm, like, like, I'm imagining it. Wait. I'm like, I, guys, I have a secret to tell you. I'm actually British. 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 Actually British. 
That'd be ins insane. My boy! Like, what is it done to my boy? I was masking this whole time. <laughs> oh, I do remember. My boy! My boy! I, re I remember the meme, but I don't think I actually like saw that movie. I do also remember people memeing of like... Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Dumbledore Harry. said calmly. <laughs> <laughs> Front facing ponies aren't real, they can't hurt you. Oh, I'm staring right at one. Yeah. Scared. She's she's scary. I'm, this didn't come out well. I don't really think she's scary at all, if I'm being honest with you. She's just like, I mean, hello. scary is not the right word, but like she looks wrong. Unsettling. Uncanny. Mmm. Not uncanny. Maybe it's just the fact that I haven't shaded in her eyes or anything, so she's just kind of like staring madly. Like the delightful <laughs> thing. Yeah, that seems more like the culprit. Yeah. There we go, that actually it's a lot better already. <laughs> the delightful thing where she was like, I put a shape over her face because she was scaring me. <laughs> and then fix her face! Don't put a sticker over her face! Fix it! <laughs> Here we Delightful are. Day. Not fixing any issues. That is the delightful way, isn't it? I'm like implication of my legs over here. Okay, Hello. I've had enough. <laughs> here we are. It's Yay. mostly Sophie. Yay. Sophie has taken up the majority of the photo. Well, good <laughs> as it should be. <laughs> All right, we're done. Yay. Happy April Fools. Woo. No, I'll say the thing. Yeah, we did it. All right. Well, sorry guys. I gotta. I, I gotta do the thing. We're leaving. We're done. And if you like what you see here, uh, join the Discord in the description. Join all our funny little friends. Uh, what the hell was the thing? I've already had it in my head. Uh, something. Uh, have yourself a wonderful broadcast day. <laughs>